Hey, 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 what's happening, y'all? Woo, we got a show for y'all today. It's Friday. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Sun's coming up here. Thank goodness. Shout out to all my family down there. Down in the coldest armpit of America. Y'all hang in there. It's got to get better. It's going to get better. Uh, it's the Michael Corey, your morning show. It's the wake up and bake up and do what you do. I have a show on right now on Dash. One day we're going to be on Dash. If these niggas would have listened to me, I could have had them on Dash already. As Michael kicks in. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Negro. But you know this is okay on. Last week, it invited us to come to Dash. So we're going to start talking to him next week. We're coming to, we're coming to Dash. It's coming. Yes, sir. We're moving, steps. baby. Baby steps. I'm telling you, man. Dash is a great format. Uh, it's so professional. It's so clean and crispy. And uh, if you want to see my show, it's on 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Dash Radio with the Delicious Final. Okay, let's go. Morning crew. Call your clan. Where you in? All right. All right. Rojest, my main man with the $100 plane. <laughs> Less. Less bo- uh, 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 Bovia. Bovia. That's an interesting name. What is the uh, what is the background on that name, Les? Uh, Lou Hobbs. What's going on, Sabrina Fields? Uh, you know it's HBCU week, and of course with Black History Month, we are asking everybody to uh, shout out, put your people out there. Um, I'm an alum from uh, Texas Southern University, Houston, Third Ward. Hey, that's what we do. Got into an argument with Beyonce's dad one day, but that's a long, long story. Good morning, y'all. Art right, Bishop. Woo, woo, woo. What's up, y'all? Oh, good morning. Happy blessed day, everybody, with three dubs. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, we got a great show for you today. We got Miss Leonard. She's going to poke her head in here today. We got the lovely, fabulous, funny Miss Arkansas. Or as I say, Arkansas and uh, Daniel J in the Hizzy Hollywood High, uh, one of Hollywood High's beautiful gem stars, shooting star. That's what I'm looking for. I can't talk in the morning. I can't talk. I need me some tea. <laughs> and of course, we have Dr. Christian Gregory. He's going to be here, and he's going to espouse his skills and his talent. And not to give it away, but we have a big, 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 big giveaway today. Stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. We got a big giveaway, and don't you miss it. Yes. Hey, Rod Gibbs, what's going on? Esther Grass, Esther Jazz, Jonathan K. Branch. What up? Me and John have been, uh, we've been like pen pals lately on Facebook. Y'all want to follow the ride? Uh, friend me, like me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, the whole busy thing. And, uh, what's up? Uh, Angela Hayden, good morning. Thank God it's Friday, huh? We got a little sun here. Uh, beautiful. I can't wait for the for spring. This is going to be like one of the most magnificent springs this country has ever seen because this country is going to just be happy. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good as heck, y'all. Who else we got here? Angela Hayden and, of course, Rosemary Smith. Good morning, y'all. What's happening? Everybody get your woo, woo, woo in. Good show. Miss Leonard, Miss Arkansas, Daniel J., Dr. Christian Gregory, and the big, 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 big giveaway. Oh, man, we're giving it away. We're giving it away, I'm telling you. Hey, Kimberly Mixon, Dixon. I love that name. Are you a rapper? Put your hands together for Kimberly Nixon Dixon. Okay, who else we got here? Let's see, I'm rubbing my hands here. It is a balmy 41 degrees. That's why I got this window open. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's been uh, for California. You know, that's why we're here. We're not here for the personalities of people, we're here for the weather. That's, yes. And there's 10 billion people on the freeway. I don't care. I don't care. I will ride my bike. S Roundtree, what's happening? 
Angela Hayden, good morning and blessings and peace to you and yours too. Wait for that. Uh, we are in the two minute range. I want to remind uh, Ebony that we have um, uh, internet issues at 8.30. So if I disappear at 8.30, I told you. Okay. Charity Sky Grace. Nice. What's going on? She said, I'm here. Present. All right, who we got? Jacqueline Ward. Oh, yeah. It's Grateful Friday. I like that. Who said that? Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it's Grateful Friday. Oh, make sure you put everything in perspective when things go a little awry. Call you. Checking in. One, two, three. Gotta get my three in there. Good morning to the kings and queens of the best panel ever. Mike Kelly, Ebony, Chris, and DJ sending a woo woo woo. Thank you, Mr. Round Two. Oh, is that a miss? It's just an S. Y'all better put your pictures on your profile things, man. That's not fair. V. Wilson, good morning to the clan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I love that picture, Michael. That is that is a glorious, glorious picture of uh, Mr. Gregory and his son. Mr. Beautiful, Dick Gregory, who we are honoring all week long, and so we're honoring uh, Black History Month. And you are a great Black DJ, so we honor you too, DJ Dave. Good morning, King. How are you? Man, I am highly favored and glad to be here. Loving that look, man. Woo! Oh, this old thing. Look at front. This is what I wear when I don't get high. Look, let me break that down a little bit. Oh. What? Shoot, y'all better quit playing. What my David Ford? I thought I had some red David Fords. I don't know. David Ford. Yeah, I don't know where I set those, but they, they, oh, here's something. Here's something. David Ford. Kablamo. Turn to the head. Turn, to the, side. Turn to the side. Turn to the side. Bam. <laughs> hey, good morning, David. Welcome. Thank you, brother. Let's do Woo! it. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. In the rich, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show our father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bop, bop, doo, bop, bop. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, wonderful, he's kind and great. Let's show our father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bop, bop, doo, bop. God is good. Woo, God is good. I'm good. Good morning, y'all. It's the Michael Kyle Morning Show. That was Dave here, DJ Dave, DMG. Dave doing it big time. Woo to the woo, woo, woo. As you know, my favorite colors are red and black. And this fedora just came in. Roger, I know you'll appreciate that. You know, Roger was going to get me a fedora for my birthday. Rogest is his name. I, we mess his name up all the time. Rogest is his name. But 
Instead of me getting this fedora, he heard me say how much I love this piece of art. He grabbed that for me. I showed y'all yesterday. I got to show you today. Look at this. Is that amazing? Can you see what's in his hair? The riot is in his hair. You see all those names on those jerseys? Those are all young boys. Police shot down and killed dead. The pistol next to his head. If you look very closely, there's a brother being lynched just hanging from that. He's being muzzled with the American flag. And look at the Statue of Liberty. KKK with the fire on the hand. Breaking news. I love this so much. Rojess, thank you, player. I appreciate that. So he got that instead of Fedora. What? That was a big time. Come up, come up, come up, come up. And uh, I just want to tell you this hat is by a company down in Atlanta. The company is called fruition it's called fruition you know you, when you bring things to fruition you can have an ideal and speaking of bring things to fruition uh chris and i gonna have a conversation this morning about this show that he liked and i think it was a good ideal i don't know if they brought it to fruition we're gonna talk about that in a pair of seconds hey i'm your boy michael kelly world famous world now and often talked about alleged comedian gentleman the scholar intellectual giant in the pool of mental midgets and a connoisseur a fine haberdashery is my job it's my responsibility it's my great pleasure to be here every morning five days a week noon to five to give y'all a place to come and laugh and to pray we keep god in this house he all up in here all the way every now and then i do a little cussing and shit and i want you to know that could happen uh, that's why we got the cuss jar, and today is the day we give away the cuss jar. Over the week, we got some cusses in that didn't pay for us. So I'm going to slide another 10 on top of where we're at right now. We got two big giveaways, but before we do anything, before I go any mother further, mother further, I don't know if you've ever said that before, and I do want you to see that, that how that is, how they put that thing together down there, fruit issue. I want to thank, thank the brother. Wait, I got to thank the brother. I called him. Let me see. I got I got his name. His name is Stanzo. Stanzo, thank you, sir. Him and his whole team came to my show when I did Uptown Comedy Corner, and they were all fly as can be. When I came on this morning, I didn't have my hat or my jacket on. And uh, Chris said that I looked like the school principal. You know, he said, oh, that's Principal Jenkins, you know, something like that. Anyway, we have a guest before we even get going. Um, you know, church is all up in this house, and we want to bring on right now um, the wonderful, the ever-loving Mrs. Leonard. Ms. Leonard, come on in, will you? <laughs> yeah. How, How you, you doing, doing there, Mr. Collins? Oh, I'm doing just fine, Ms. Leonard. How you doing? Yo, I'm wonderful. Bless you, Chris, and everybody on this uh, happy uh, HBCU week. That's right. That's right. We celebrate that big time around here. And I want to shout out my grandbaby school, Harvard University. H H Howard University? Yeah, I want to shout out Howard. Come on. Yeah, so do give him a big woo, 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 woo. Woo to the woo, woo. How you woo. been this minute? Oh, I've been good. Just a little cold. Lord, it's so cold down in Texas, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. How cold is it? Ooh. It's colder than a white conservative Republican. That's how cold it is. And that's pretty cold. <laughs> you don't get no colder than that. Now, that's you right. know, Mr. Collins, each and every time I'm on here, you are so kind, you and Chris and Emily, <laughs> allow me to do the announcements of my church, the old new True Light Bernie Bush Amy Pentecost Missionary Fellowship Baptist Temple, C-O-G, where the Reverend C.T. Tremble is a pastor. Yes. So here I is with today's church announcements. All right. Now the pastor says that we would like to clear up a vicious rumor. Mm -hmm. There is no proof that no doctors or scientists have developed a condom containing the COVID vaccine. You must get the shot. <laughs> now the pastor say but and he sure is right mr Cotton. we got to be kinder to one another much right. kinder to one that show do must be kind to another one because he said he honked at a lady just the other day with his car horn uh -huh. and she cussed him out what Yes, cussed him out. Lord Jesus said she called him every name, but I turn her. Just cussed him out. All <laughs> driving. Her. She said the only reason he blew his horn at it in the first place is she had a bumper sticker that said, Honk if you love Jesus. 
So oh, that was just something just to count. And she just cussed him out. Lord have mercy. Now, we want to wish the associate pastor, Reverend Oscar Glover. Okay. Best wishes. He's leaving to move to Miami, Florida. Okay. Uh, and opening a church down there. A church that specifies and caters to the conniving and gold digging women that happen to go down there sometimes. <laughs> Uh, he will be the pastor of the Ever Skeezer Baptist Church. That's what he was going to be the pastor. The Ever, the Ever Skeezer Baptist Church. Ever Skeezer Baptist Church. Yeah. Now, we'd like to clarify the pastor say that on our website this week, we will be discussing the King James Version at Bible study. Mm. But unlike some people think, this will have nothing to do with LeBron. So bring your Bibles and be there to discuss it. <laughs> Brother Larry Cartwright's doctor says that he's feeling better after having some problems with his iron last week. Okay. Says his wife hit him upside the head with one that was still plugged in. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> and lastly, lastly, brother, Mr. Collins and everybody, uh, the family of brother Melvin Blanks. No. Melvin Blanks is families no. ask, asking for prayer. Brother oh. Blanks was so depressed for not getting a promotion on his job mm -hmm. and tried to end it by taking a handful of Viagra. The family <laughs> said he was way too hard on himself over that. Way <laughs> too hard on him. These have been announcements of the Perpetual Flames. I mean, uh, our wrong church. That's our next door neighbor. The old new True Light Burn Bush, Amy Pinkoff, Mr. Pesci, Baptist Temple, COG, where the Reverend C.T. Tremble is a pastor. Well, Ms. Leonard, are you cooking this weekend? You cooking anything? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to make some hominy hash. I, I know you like that. Hominy with that little cin With that little cinnamon crust flavor to it. Fruit mm. salad, sweet potato soup, butter squash casserole. I'm not going to make my hog head cheese lasagna. I'm just going to make hog head cheese. Green okay. beans, yeast rolls, uh, mashed potatoes, biscuit, and uh, chunky monkey soup. That's <laughs> where you Chunky monkey soup. That's where you have little pieces of coconut and beef floating around in there. Ooh, that don't sound that appetizing, but it's yeah, I'm a, yeah, you ate some one time and you said it was good. Oh, oh you said well, it was must so be good. good. You know what you're doing. So, Miss Leonard, I just want to say thank you again for dropping in. We always like to hear the church announcement. Okay, Mr. Kyle, sounds good. I talk to you later. See you next right, time. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, that's been a minute, y'all. At the Michael Kyle Morning Show. But of course, you know we don't officially start until we bring in my main man, 100 Grand. This dude is super funny. He's king of comedy, at least over at his house. Put your hands together for Mr. Christopher Richards. <laughs> there you go. Woo to the woo woo. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. How are you, sir? That hat. Oh, Oh, the hat is flat. That hat. You didn't have that hat on for our pre-production meeting, sir. Yeah, not when that you hat is me the principal. No, I didn't have a hat. I want to surprise <laughs> you with the hat. But I have a bone to pick with you anyway. You had me stand what up here last night to watch yes. something that you think is funny. <laughs> that stuff is not funny. You know what? I shouldn't do critique of shows because those actors are probably fans of mine, and I'm going to run into them later, and they're going to hear what I see. I yes. love the uncle. I love the uncle. Yes. I love Is Always. that Kevin? Kevin the uncle? Uh, yes, Uncle Kevin. Yes, okay, Uncle, uncle Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Tell them the name of this terrible show. Oh, my God. I cannot breathe without thinking about this show. I stumbled upon it uh, about a week ago, and then someone texted me about it yesterday. I immediately jumped in, ladies and gentlemen, and saw it on Netflix, and it's about an African-American family. So I thought, okay, here we go. Within the first episode, I was boiling over with laughter. I think the show is so hilarious. So much so, Michael. I finished the whole season. They have seven episodes. I rambled through the whole thing. It's called Buried by the Bernards, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you, it's great fun. Now, here's what you got to get over. The Bernards own a funeral home in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and in the first episode, Uncle Kevin, who reminds me of 
a certain someone. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Maybe that's not as funny to you. Okay. Because he said, he said, I, I, I just keep it pivot. I keep it <laughs> I'm telling you. Hilarity. I see, his best. Oh, I see the resemblance. Uh, he's a tackier, <laughs> older version of me. <laughs> he is uh, tacky. Okay. You want to talk about a liquor store hat? Dude, yeah. he wears a liquor store hat. He don't wear no fly fedora. He wear that hat you know cost four dollars. It costs four dollars. Yes. It's made out of felt. People, let me just tell y'all. Yes, this went on and on. He told me about this show, and you have to understand the premise is awesome. I wish I came with the idea, the idea right. of a black family oh. that ain't quite got it together, but they run right. a funeral home. Okay, grandma. <laughs> Really is running it, but the son want to act like he run it, and the daughters want to act like they want to do whatever they want to do, and yes. they, I mean, they don't send the car to pick up the family, oh, but they don't know why the family is there, you know. And I think the premise is hilarious. So I think they need better writers. That's why we go back to the hat. Oh. Fruition. <laughs> yes. You got to bring it to fruition. A lot of times you have a great idea, but and so I stayed up last night, y'all. Till 1.30, watching this non-funny shit, where my dollar, this non-funny shit that he laughed so hard he almost hurt himself. You got to see it. He said, I'm on episode six. You got to make it through the first episode. I went to bed last night. I'm tired as hell, but I'm going to watch this episode because Chris, <laughs> no. Chris generally knows funny. It's funny, y'all. It is funny. not. I challenge you. you. I challenge it. every oh. one of the viewers to watch it and then let, let me know yes. Monday. You must. You I, liked Monday, it. Y'all. I liked it. I you think, see that? I think the the grandma, the mom reminds me of a rescue a show. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> the mom or the grandma? The mom. Well, that's his mom. The mom? The owner. That's the grandma. Oh, the owner's mom, mother. But she's right. a grandmother. She yeah. Looks like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Ebony, you are super two face. That's all it's I want to say. You are super two face. It's great fun, you guys. Oh, we got to go. Chance, give it about the third episode, y'all. And then trust me, it will deliver. Just keep your eye on Uncle Kevin. What's his name? Best I want to okay. know. I want y'all to watch it, please, and let us know what y'all think. I think it was just a terrible waste of time. Just <laughs> they could have just done a few things and took it to the funny. But it didn't get there. Okay, we already late. Yes. She holds the clock up. She came in and told us we got to go. And I do oh, want to say I smoked up, but I won't say it right now. What are we getting to right now? The, the Right to the comedy? Comedian, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. She go to, oh, one of my favorite comedians, too. And I understand she's celebrating a birthday soon. Bring her on, yes. Chris. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the comedy platform today. It's her birthday tomorrow, so show her some love right there in the comments because she's no stranger to us. She is one of the family. Ladies and gentlemen, put your fat fingers together for the one and only Miss <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo, <laughs> Woo, Happy birthday. I love your birthday hat. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good morning. And guess what, Michael? These ain't David Ford. These are one QT <laughs> boutique out here in Las Vegas. I'm dripping. You heard? <laughs> 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 oh my God. Oh, wow. This is truly a blessing. Let me get say this before I get started. First of all, this is truly an honor to be on here today. My mother passed on my birthday many years ago, and oh, when it gets close to that day, it seems like it just happened today. So yeah. I just want you to know yeah, this is. right here going to make this day be a beautiful yeah, day. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Lifting yeah. <laughs> your mother, lifting your mother up. Yeah. Yes. And I want to say to Miss Leonard, uh, I don't have to wait till first Sunday no more to have my uh, communion. <laughs> uh, I bought me. I'm tired of waiting on the first Sunday, so I got me some uh, old wine, <laughs> <laughs> and I got me some crackers. Yeah, 
Man, I ain't got to wait till first Sunday. I can have my communion any Sunday. And I ain't got to have that little cup. I can fill it up. You hear me? <laughs> and I didn't come out here to tell no jokes. I came out here for you, Ebony, uh, Chris, and Dave to sing happy birthday before I get off of here. <laughs> and I got a lot of stuff on my mind and I ain't got but a little time. So, Micah, I want you to know your chicken sound like it needs some chicken noodle soup. <laughs> and, I know, <laughs> and I know you're becoming a vanquilicus or triloquist or something. <laughs> and say, my dude, you know, know, he got a well, a good job. He was telling me the other day he want to be one. I thought about yeah. it and I got to looking at him. I said, what am I going to do with two dummies? <laughs> <laughs> so I let hey, him funny. go. <laughs> so I let him go. <laughs> and oh. then, y'all, listen. They went up, they going up on everything, y'all. I just heard on the news last night they going to go up on the groceries again. Then they done went up on the rent again. And then I was going to move into something a little least expensive, but the lady said I can't bring my dog. So oh. my friend that gave him to me, she said, oh, I'll take him back. She said, at least he'll be over here with his mama. I got to thinking about it. I said, I done had that dog since it was a little bitty puppy. He think I'm his mama. I said, that dog going to go back over there and start fighting or trying to sleep with that dog. I said, he going to think that's his sugar mama. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> I just figured I'll pay the rest of the little, you know, the rest of it and stay on in here for another year at least so I can keep my dog. There you go. Wow. And you know what, Michael, I say oh, I'm going to try not to cuss today because I don't want to give you none of my birthday money. All right, you oh, got your birthday yeah, coming. Right. Oh. <laughs> and we are giving away that curse jar today, too, so you're here on a good day. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Let me say something. Uh -huh. <laughs> you get Kelly my phone number, so when it's something important, she can call me. Okay. Anytime your phone, your name show up again, I don't care what time of the day it is, I'm going to say, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. You missed it, right, right? Man, I woke up, I took the dog out, I was watching, and then I laid my phone down and didn't even hear when he called, uh, said my name. <laughs> I would answer the phone to my, I, one of my favorite people in the world, I love you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Arkansas, we, we hey, don't man, I know you should have let me out for here, but they, they going to kill me if I don't do this. All right. <laughs> Quick happy birthday shout out to my niece Michi, Sharonda G, Two Tall oh. Toy, Jaleesa, Skill Hudson, and Tamiko Kirkland. Happy birthday, y'all, from the Mike Taya clan. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. And happy birthday to you, Miss Arkansas. Yeah. I love your mini blouse and your hat. That's a beautiful <laughs> hat. Happy birthday. Tell people where they can find you, girl. Find me a cash app, dollar sign Miss Arkansas Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go. I mainly need y'all to follow me over there on IG. Everything else is sold up. So, Miss Arkansas Comedian, yes, and I'll follow you back. God bless y'all, man. And my prayer go out to all of you that's dealing with this bad weather. God bless you. Hey, y'all, Miss Arkansas, right here on the mic. Leave me with a woo, woo, woo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Thank you. She's fabulous, y'all. She dropped in every now and then to hang out with us, do some little fun stuff. She really is a brilliant comedian, though, and she's working down in Vegas all the time doing the doggone thing. You know what, though? We're supposed to be coming on with the theme music, but I think we're going right to our um to our monologue. You know? Yeah! I've been waiting to see this brother do Me this too, me too. And you know, we usually do monotone, uh, monologue m Mondays. But we have so many great actors and actresses coming through. We throw a monologue in airware, you know. Uh, but Chris, let me just say uh, to you this morning, good morning. Yes, sir. You know, you came in here fast. I didn't get a chance to greet you, man. You were balancing this show, morning, baby. Man. You make it flow. I love that shirt. I still can't get over that wonderful haircut. How your foot doing? 
<laughs> my foot is doing pretty good actually pain is going down and the swelling is interesting so i'm trying to balance my life and and put my foot up when i need to you know what i mean but oh, it's really okay. doing good yeah i, I thought, go back to the doctor next weekend sometimes the pain from my foot affects our brain and it makes us think that things are funny they really <laughs> are so that show in school, oh, I just want to say that show is not wait, funny. I owe wait. another dollar to the money. To the job. Michelle Taxley Gray says, I watched the whole series the other night. Uncle Kevin is funny. So, yeah. the only Uncle Kevin's the only one funny with these funny outfits. He vacuuming and singing <laughs> temptation songs. He's the only one suit. funny. Okay, all right, let's get to this great, let's get to this actor. I met him on, um, yes, in, in uh, on, um, Clubhouse. I'm in my clubhouse, yes. and he said uh -huh. he has his monologue ready, so we're going to bring him on to do his thing. Chris, please, bring him on. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. He's an actor that's out there hustling like all the best of us, so come on and show him some love, y'all, and follow him on his social media for the one, the only, Moses A. Weathers! Woo, yeah. woo, woo. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? What's, what's up, what's up Moses? How you doing, Chris? Yes, you sir. Doing, doing great, my brother. Doing good. Hey, brother. It's good to see you, man. Welcome to the show. What's happening? How you doing? Oh, man. All is well. So you've been acting for a while, a little bit, brand new, but... Oh, yeah. I've been acting for about 14 years back in my hometown and then took the journey out oh, to man. California. And I've been acting out here for about a year, you know, hustling, grinding, you know, audition yeah. to audition. You know, I did get some uh, good roles recently. My most notable one right now is I've gotten a role on an Amazon show. It's called uh, The Truth Behind Us. So that's pretty cool. And then I also okay. got the lead role in a musical called Godspell. It's the all what? version of Godspell. <laughs> What? Yeah, where you yeah. doing, where you doing that at? Where you doing gospel at? That one is gonna be for a company called the Paylift Foundation. Uh, Charles mm -hmm. Douglas is doing that one, and that's actually going to be uh, really. You said payless. Hmm? You said payless like the shoes. Payless. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, I wish you know. What I'm saying? No, no, <laughs> P A L E L. Yeah, okay, uh, it's an acronym. So yeah, we're gonna be doing it for them. And uh, we're actually going to be doing it on, it's on, going to be online just like this here because, you know, with COVID and everything, you know, can't have yeah. audiences and stuff like that. But yeah, I scored the lead role of Jesus Christ. So in that one, so I, uh, wow. I'm, really happy and I'm really proud to be playing them. Yeah. You must be really good though, man, to be able to carry that lead though. That lead, that's a big lead right there now. Sure. And where's your hometown? You said you're from your little hometown. What hometown? St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, woo woo. You ever go to yeah, East yeah. Illinois? To the pink slip, <laughs> we, we'll keep that amongst ourselves right there. Uh, Moses, what, what monologue are you doing for us today, brother? I actually decided to make it a little bit interesting because I'm, uh, I saw the comedy, so I'm like, you know, I got like two comedy ones that I just put together and I made it to one. So it's gonna be from two different, uh, two different uh, show, a TV show, one from Entourage and another one from a play that I was uh, that I know about. So yeah, I'm gonna make them interesting. They're gonna make sense. Trust me. Okay. Well, we'll we'll be the judge of that, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right. Come on with it, ladies and gentlemen. We give you Moses A. Weathers. All right. Everybody, everybody, just stop. I didn't go to the Lakers game because they were playing the Bobcats. I came here today because I thought this was a session on how to help my wife communicate better. You know how to answer a question without a question. Basic Humanity 101. But what I thought, given your walk with diplomas, it would be an easy fix. But if you couldn't fix it, maybe you can give her a pill that could fix it or make her a mute. But to turn around and gang up on me, I have work to do. I have hundreds of clients to deal with. And just so we're clear, transparent, they're all just a number. Just like my wife. Number one and my therapist. Number seven. Good day. <laughs> um, yeah, man, you uh, you see that girl, Crystal? She, she got the most awesome features. I'm serious. I mean, those teeth, those, those lips. I find myself just staring at them sometimes. And her eyes, oh, her eyes are color. I don't even think it's one you can find in a box of crayons. <laughs> it's a 64 color. With a sharpener in it, but even then, I don't know. The kind of green, sort of blue, they're almost hypnotic. Man, look at me. 
It's like a fucking kick. That's what she does to me. Huh? I guess it slapped me for a loop. I'll tell you that much. But anyway, man, I'll see you later. But remember, keep this shit to yourself. I mean, you my boy. You know I do the same for you. We we partners. We ride or die. We like fucking buffalo out here. That's it. <laughs> okay, brother, brother. Thank you, man. What was the monologue from the second one? You said you have a monologue from another show. What was that from? That actually, I just included that in there. Uh, that one's from a show called Reasons to be Pretty by Neil Simon. Oh, man. I love Neil Simon. Great comedian um, with The Apartment, uh, The Odd Couple, uh, mm -hmm. Barefoot in the Park. Yes, sir. Hey, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where can people find you, brother? Where can they see your work? Well, you know, since Miss Comedian Arkansas started with the cash out, no, this way. Yeah, my uh, Instagram handle is uh, on the screen right now. Center of Hollywood at uh, Center of Hollywood Actor. That's Center, capital C, C E N T E R, underscore O F, underscore Hollywood, capital H on the Hollywood, and underscore Actor, capital A. And then my Facebook is Moses Laytoile. Weathers or Moses Laytois Laytois. The Moses M O S E S Laytois capital L apostrophe E T O I L E and then you know um L capital L apostrophe E T O I L E. So that's that's right what what the hell kind of name what does that mean? Uh the star. The star he made that up if you went. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Can you give us a woo 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 for you get out of here? Woo woo woo. You know. Hey, y'all, there he is, Moses A. Weathers, A. Actor. Thank you, brother. Good Thank luck you. on all the things you're doing. Thank you for blessing us this morning on the Michael Kaya Morning Show. You know, folks, in a moment, we're going to be, uh, we got a little thing I got to show you for the HBCU. But understand that we are honoring today, as we've been doing all week, the wonderful, the great Mr. Dick Gregory. Can I see a photo yes. of you? Mr. Gregory, please. Um, this Oh man, that's wow. a, that's a early day. That's when he's starting, and that's right around the time I think he was moving from just doing comedy to becoming a political activist. You have another one for us? Uh -huh. Ah, and that's how he looked uh -huh. in his final days when I used to be doing comedy with him, man. You know, I found out that his nephew, who did our show Tuesday, Mark, went on the road with him for five years. Can you imagine wow. five years opening for Dick Gregory? You know, that's, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, but HB, oh. I was going to hold oh, that, that, that now because I am understanding this is his son who's coming on today. This is Christian Gregory who's going to tell us about what's going on with the estate right now. And the estate is jamming. He's got so many things coming. I just I didn't get a chance to banner the show and tell you all the wonderful things that's happened. As you know, right after him and right, wait, right before prayer. Wait, Ebony, are we doing the big giveaway first or the cash first? Can't nobody we, hear you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're doing the cat. The cash jar is last, and the big giveaway is first. I big giveaway. Is, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So after we do uh uh the next artist. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's put hey. some green in it. Woo. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah, that's right. Hey, the HBCUs are important, y'all. Historical black colleges and universities. We want to lift those up, not just because it's Black History Month, because we just happen to be black people. Okay, and it is the best thing you could possibly do is go to a university with black folks who are teaching black folks, because they're going to tell you things about yourself and your history that the Europeans going to leave out. You know, Europeans mostly going to give you the European version of history, which is not the truth. American history is. African American history, we built this thing, and now they want to treat like treat us like we don't matter. Go and show them that promo from the HBCU.
Oh, but you know my favorite? Oh, I hate what it is. The guy in the red. What was he doing? He was doing a, <laughs> he was doing a little thing where he was Probably getting. Probably stepping. He was yeah. in that though, man. He was. And that's another thing. You're not going to get no rhythm from Harvard, but you're going to get it from Howard. <laughs> Howard H.U. Right. You, you know. So we be you out with know. Yes, we'll be honoring and honoring and honoring uh, historical black universities the whole time. You're going to be hearing it. And then on the 10th, we got some folks come in just to focus oh, on that. Keep looking for the good. commercial. I got to show you this before we go to prayer. You know we love liquor store yes, hat sir. Monday. Do we have some liquor yes. store to show them where? I had a great one myself around here somewhere. Absolutely. Let's oh, show them. Monday's liquor store. Oh. There you go. <laughs> come on, let's out. Keep it going. Oh, that's <laughs> what's wrong with his face. There you go. The liquor store hat is more of an attitude than the hat itself. Gosh. I think now that is definitely uh, Uncle Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's no time. You got, I don't know what time to call me right now, but we have a live show on and we can't answer the phones yeah. right now. Call me black. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's prayer time. Oh, and let me tell you this. What's really, really good with another awesome comedian named Ty Davis coming in from Baltimore towards the end. Oh, right before Ty Davis, um, that we're going to have this wonderful band. Now, they used to be called Tony, Tony, Tony. Now they're called 3TOB, okay? And it's the entire band, and they're in a studio. So we got to be on time when we bring them on because they got to go, all right? So we're going to try to work it out because, you know, Right. I get long-winded. I like to blame it on Chris, but it's really me. So <laughs> one time we go way over. But before I do prayer, I think we need to give away a big package right now. I need to give oh! away a package, then the prayer, then Daniel. Is Je Did Daniel make it today? Uh, He's on his way in. It's a lot of traffic. It's L.A. Oh, okay. And you talked to him this morning, Ebony? Okay, I don't know if yes, yes. that's out of him. Last time he overslept. How you gonna oversleep? They don't oversleep at NBC. At NBC, when they got a part, they show up. Don't play with me. Woo! Okay, why don't we get some stuff away right now? Let's start with a big pass. Let's do it! And while we're doing Black History Month, I just want to show you. Oh, oh my God. This week, Hollywood Reporter Chris, and on the cover, Ooh. the lovely, the elegant, and the very accomplished Regina. Regina King is direct oh. and make a thing commercials, uh, oh series, movies. Yeah. One, one day in Miami, ain't that hers? Yes, one yes, one day in Miami. One yes, night yes, in Miami is uh, hers. Academy Award winner, Emmy winner, love to yes. be able to interview her. And she is my friend. She did wish me a happy birthday. Well, I don't know how to get her on these shows, but I'm going to keep on trying, and I'm just very yes. happy to yes. see that so, let me go yes. out just then to prayer. Wait a minute. If we're talking about great actresses, oh, have to who's on right. a cup of variety? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's Viola. Viola Davis in yes. My Rainey's Black Bottom. If you haven't seen that, you have not seen a great movie this year. Yeah. It's amazing. Amazing. She looks uh, beautifully ugly there. Beautifully ugly. I mean, she ugly it up. Yes. She know how to get there anyway by snotting up. But this time, <laughs> we actually use makeup. Hey, y'all, let me get this prayer in. Then, yes. Oh, wait. We said we're going to get the giveaway, right? Oh, the big giveaway, right. Yes, let's do it. Tell it to the ticket. <laughs> okay. I've been having all kinds of stuff trying to throw me off this morning. I, it took me like 10 minutes to put my clothes on and then 20 minutes to button that top button right there. That button right there. Wow. I was messing up. It's that perfect, means, though. That means I got a fat neck. I just I was doing everything to get that one button in there. It just would not go. All right. The big giveaway. Yes. How do we do it? How do we give it away? Ebony, don't be hiding. Ebony, where's that snow picture? <laughs> Ebony, where's that picture going to the pool, please? I am. Uh, it's a video. <laughs> do you want to do phone lines? We could do phone lines. Do you tell me? Yeah. Uh, okay, don't nobody start calling yet. I don't open it up. Yes. Yeah, anyway. the phone line, but can we please? Ebony has gone through so much this week. She's in Dallas, uh, where, where Texas has decided that they're gonna have their own uh, power grid. The whole rest of the country is two, split in two halves, and they share That's a power crazy. grid. But Texas, to damn it, we bigger than the world. <laughs> we are gonna have our own power grid. So when they go down, yes. all the kids go down. 
She went down. She had to get water in a very interesting way. Can you have that video? Yeah, hold on. This them getting water, so they. We're going to the pool to get water for the toilet. Period. Uh uh, not period. It's so cold. Oh, the pool is frozen. Hold on. She brought a whole machete. <laughs> Don't fall. Wow. Oh my God. I we, have two questions. We are surviving over here. <laughs> oh my God. Why did y'all use the snow that you were walking on? <laughs> well, because for one, that snow, for some reason, the snow was not melting like normal snow. Right. It's it's weird. Weird. Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's like, it, I don't know what is going, it's weird. Like we put snow oh in the bucket God. and it was just sitting there and I didn't want to pack it in the toilet, the bowl. Like, <laughs> and then you have a slushy toilet. <laughs> that would have been All horrific. Right. Well, uh, you were suggesting, Chris, that she put, put the snow in the yes, container it's and then ice. You yeah. the toilet, and it did you're move. hoping that it would have melted into water and come through. Well, or you said just I take mean, it or, and throw it in on top of the poop. I mean, <laughs> or just take snow and put it in the bathtub and let it sit there until it dries. You know what I mean? I'm just saying snow is water, so you're yeah, missing all the water. Yeah. The pool now water, in New York, it's yellow, so you don't want to touch it. <laughs> you know but the I mean? pool water was easy to get. The only thing with me is it ain't her damn pool. I that want to know who that's not. No, no, cool. I, I, everybody was get. We have nine pools in my complex. I live in a town home. We have nine pools, so everybody oh, okay. was so they, going okay. to the pools and getting water. <laughs> so if you're not living today with an attitude wow. of gratitude out there, people, something wrong with y'all. Because so this lady right. had to walk a half a block with buckets and machetes to get water. I thought out the of pool was going to be frozen, so I was going to hack the water. I was going to hack the ice. So to get into it. And I'm from the Midwest. So I know how to survive. <laughs> okay, let's do this giveaway yes. right now. Wow. Big giveaway today. Let me see. Big giveaway. It's going to be books, CDs, DVDs. Uh, 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 we got buttons. We got cash. We'll do uh, how long 35, that last? Do that? Write that down. $35 cash. Yes. And if the winner give me the cash app right now, instead of me trying oh. to then I can send you that money right now. Sandwich right now. You know, big, big, big giveaways at the end of the day. If right. you win this one, though, you can still be in the contest for the money job. Okay, generally you can't be in within 30 days. We're not eliminating nobody from getting the money job. The money job at least had this much, at least got this much money in. We got to get that several twenties. Ah. Several twenties in there. I'm going to start out by adding 50 oh. to this. Oh, so it's going to be great. Now, why would GFAT be calling me now? Uh, look at the, look at the thing. No, no, no. It's, I turned the phones on. So when we oh, you turned the phones on. So he's trying to jump on there first and get in. <laughs> Do not call yet, GFAT. Oh, he thinks he's so slick. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Here we go. And I want to get barbecue. I want to give away some barbecue. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we're going to give away the package and. You have my address. <laughs> $35 and barbecue I some blood from soul blood soul. Wow. Oh, it's so good. The brisket is so good. Yeah, that's a big package. The sauce is so good. I can't I wait to taste that sauce. Yeah, and GFAC, yeah, you can't so win good. this. GFAC, you cannot win this. She's got just one. Come you on, just won like five or six days ago. You are eligible to be in the money win at the end, the big money grab. You're not eligible to be in this. Don't your butt be calling here blocking people who can actually win with your greedy self. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Big pack.
Like wow. I'm gonna find it all later because we're killing too much time. But the right. big pack will be all three of the books, the CD, DVD, thirty-five dollars, and barbecue from Blood Souls with the best barbecue on the planet. Ooh. And we get to you, and we also want to throw in a couple of other. Oh, and my DVD y'all haven't seen called the Michael Callier yes. Project, which was shot in Project all around. Oh. All around. Let you keep your camera. I know y'all don't have this. That's called the Michael Tyre Project, and that is the project I grew up in. Oh, wow! Six packets, y'all. And the phones over here is already ringing, so you must have opened them up. So tell me what number phone call are we going with? Let's go with number five. Five ain't bad. We're going with five. And please make sure that you email the show if you are a winner. If you win, you got to email the show. Okay. All right, hello? Okay, that person left. The first person gone. Okay, we're looking for the second caller. Let's go. Let's go. The phones are open. Let's go. Let's go. You see the contest rules. Pick them up, dial them up. Pick them up, dial them up. We got one up there. Okay. Uh, Are you seeing them over there? I see them. Okay, uh, Michelle Hodge. Michelle Hodge, you number two. Michelle Hodge, you number two, baby. You number two. Hang up and call back. We're looking for number five. Looking for number five. Okay, we're looking for number five. Where they at? Where they at? Hold up. Number Hold five. up. Michelle Style Group. Uh, oh, Michelle called twice already. I think she might. Michelle calling again. She ain't playing, y'all. Y'all, she trying to win for real. You, uh, you are number four. We need the next one. The next the one. one. The next one coming in. Next, That's it. Michelle. Oh. <laughs> oh, she done called back to back, back to back. I see. You are the winner, Michelle Hodges. Yes, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> she, she, was, <laughs> she was not playing. She was determined. Her name is Michelle Hodges. Michelle Hodges. And now Angel calling. Angel, you are one call too late, mama. We love you. Oh. But you want to call to, in fact, that's what else you're gonna Hi, get. Angel. You are gonna get some uh some of the oil, the woo woo woo, woo oil. Woo, woo. That was yours, okay. Woo, hey, who was that? Woo. Wow, comedian Wall Street, Michelle Hodges, she won. Tell them who you are once again. Comedian, the hottest, smartest working woman in comedy. All these assets, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you know how to email us right now to uh, the Michael Callier Morning Show at gmail.com? Okay, the Michael Callier Morning Show at gmail.com. Go ahead and, and also make sure you send your cash app and your phone number. And I'm going to get that cash in your hand right now. And we're going to have that barbecue sent to you. And you're going to get the whole package. We just need you. Oh, and you're getting Angel makes it. I'm telling you, it smells so good. It's called the Michael Tyre Woo 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 Oil. The oil is better than the name. So you're going to get that as well in your package. We just need you to hit us with a Woo Woo Woo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now wait, is is that your cash app that's up there right now, Ms. Wall Street? I'm sending that over to you right now, glorious queen. God bless <laughs> you. You are a winner. Woo woo. Wow. Woo, woo, she said, yeah, yeah. This right is here. the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Tell them what your favorite morning show is. The Michael Kaya Morning Show. Woo woo woo. <laughs> yeah. woo. Love you, Hey, Naya, you know you calling during the middle of the morning show, right? Oh, I did not. That's okay, Naya. I'm just glad uh, that you I need to talk to you because so you need to call my show you and show You're people your new team. Okay. But you called during the middle of our contest, so I just want you to say, <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Well, well, well. <laughs> That's my granddaughter. <laughs> Call me back at nine o'clock and I'll be off the show. What's up, Anjanette Fowler? Good morning. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I love it when she said pops. Bye, pops. That was <laughs> Yes, she is a winner. 
Uh, Miss Wall, yes. see, 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 more cash before the show is over. As soon as we go to my first day, I'm sending you that moolah. You got barbecue coming. You got the big package coming. You got the uh, the lovely roll on. Look, I'm not rolling yours on, yes. okay? You should know. Because it's, it's not sanitary. That one's yours. That one's yours, right? That's yours. That, that one's yours. And this one, I'm rolling on myself. I'm woo wooing me. That's, a, that's an angel. Angel, the incense lady, the who incense. has all these wonderful since we played too long. Hey, I have to line. get to the prayer now. Hook it up. Hey, everybody, it's the Michael Kai Morning Show, and thank y'all for being with us, coming with us, staying with us, hanging out with us. Oh, I love this hat. The more I wear it, the more I like it. I haven't figured out the right way I want to do it, but when you got a really good hat, you can break it. Like, any way you want to, you can break it over there. Sometimes I play it just like that right there. You know, however you want to do it, it'll do all that. Okay, so anyway, but we're going to remove it right now. Uh, because we're going to do prayer. The affirmation is God is great and we ain't in the snow. Oh, that's a good one. God is great and we ain't in the snow. I come tell you, I'm out in Los Angeles, actually in Palmdale. And yesterday I had my feet in the pool. What well, what wasn't my pool. We ain't got no pool, but we claim that lady's wall next door because she go to work in the morning. Anyway. We have to be grateful, y'all. We have to have an attitude of gratitude all the time. Having gratitude means you recognize that something was given to you. And when you recognize that the universe loves it, it creates a vibration that makes the universe give you more. The, the Buddhists say wake up and be uh, positive and grateful because you have a lot. Even if you don't have a lot, at least you got a little. Even if you don't have a little, at least you ain't sick. And even if you are sick, at least you ain't dead. So be grateful. Thank you, Father God, for our lives today. And let us do the prayer. We start with a holy breath, inhaling through our nostrils. Hold it. Hold it. Now we're going to exhale very slowly through our mouths. And that senses us. Father God, good morning. Ha! Here we are again, God. Friday. For some of us, it's the weekend. My day, I treat all my days like the weekend, Father God. So thank you for that. Dear Jesus, dear God, dear Lord in heaven, thank you for loving us. As we open our hearts, our souls, our minds, our spirits, we invite you to come in and fill us with your love, your peace, your passion, your joy, your wisdom, your compassion, your sense of mercy, generosity, and kindness. Oh, Father God, we pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. We pray that you enlarge our territories greatly. We pray that your hand will be with us and guide us past evil and we will cause no pain. In fact, we will cause joy everywhere we go, causing love, light, peace, and power to others because you gave it to us first, Father God. We are grateful for everything, and so I say thank you. Thank you for my home. Thank you for Kelly, my great queen. Thank you for my puppies who always walk around and build things on their head. Look like satellite dish. You pick up HBO and cable. Thank you, Lord, for cable. Uh, Father God, we thank you for our perfect health. And we send our blessings to anyone else who is struggling with their health, no matter what it is. I send a special, I send a special blessing to Michael, my friend's father, Harry Thomas. Uh, his son is Michael, who transcended a week ago. And it's very hard on the family. So for Harry Thomas and his family, we send prayer and lift them up with love, lift them up with light, and help them get through this without the pain. Instead, let them get through it with the memory of the joy and the energy and the light that their son brought to them during these days. I can only imagine the pain of having to bury your own child. That's not the way it's meant to be. And that's the way it is. And so we lift him up. We love him. Harry Thomas, your family, love to you. Finally, blessings to anyone who's dealing with any adversity, whether it's health, whether it's financial, whatever. God got you, man. He's inside, outside, all around you, in and out. He is the head kookamook and bottle wash of my life, the ruler of my soul, and the king of my heart. And I know he ain't going to lie to you. He ain't going to trick you. And he's going to always stand by you. All you have to do now is stand tall yourself and be fearless. There's nothing to fear because God is here. In my heart, I have no fear for now I know that God is here. So let him continue to be the wind beneath our wings. Let us soar through the universe with light, joy, peace, and power. Let this day be supercalifragilistic, espialidocious, and then put some stink on it because God is not just good. God is great. I say chicken is good and God is great. And I finally say thank you. Thank you, Father God. Amen. 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 I mean I say, boom, shakalaka. And in the famous words of all of those who call themselves believers of the Lord, lovers of God, and the Kaya clan. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. I don't know how y'all day is going to be, but man, it's going to be outstanding. But I have cloaked myself in the word of the Lord, and I'm ready to fly That's for it. Right.
Thank you very much. Can we bring <laughs> on my friend who is going to give it to us and give us a little tea right now? Hey, y'all, don't forget, towards the end, we give away the money to all the money in here and whatever other money people call in to add to it. And you get all this money today. I will be the greatest president that God ever created. Look, I'm really rich. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Hey, how'd that turn out? Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, right, we're ready. Is Daniel here? Oh, yeah, ready to go. Bring him yes. on. This. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to dish the tea with Daniel J. I like that part. We say, mm, there. You know, it's How are you today? There. I am doing fabulous. Okay. I am fabulous. The, great. <laughs> the lipstick is on. The melanin bill got paid. So look, I'm here. I love it. You look great. Good morning. Go ahead and tell us what Good you morning. got. So, honey, we have lots of things happening this week that have happened these past few days. First and foremost, for the for the reality TV team, honey, if you have not known, Basketball Wives is back with a new season. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm sorry, Ebony. I need her to. Come. I need him to go out. I need Daniel to go out and come back, Daniel, because you freezing. And you're so fabulous when we can see all your movements and your words, and you're all frozen. So if you just step off and step right back in, then the voice will catch up with you. We'll wait for you. We ain't going no okay. place till you get back. Okay. All right. Daniel about to hit y'all with the feet. <laughs> yeah, but we want to see him because he's so animated and fabulous. We don't want that frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And then, okay. Yeah, and that come might on. be. Huh? Go ahead. That might be his Wi-Fi, so he may have to go to a cell phone if that still happens. Okay, all right. And at seven fifty-five right now, at eight fifteen, is that what time they going on? What time are they going on, Ebony? Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Right at eight fifteen, we're gonna see three T O B, formerly known as Tony, Tony, Tony. We're only missing one member, and but that's okay. We'll never let no one monkey stop no show. We gotta keep hope alive and keep it going. They are gonna come in from the studio and jam for you. We still got a little time before we get to them. Is Daniel back? Yes, he is back. Am I hey, moving? Daniel. Can you see Can me? You move it? Hey. Go get it. So, for those of you that have been watching uh, reality TV, you know that Basketball Wives is back. They had their second episode this past week. Honey, and they have not stopped with the goodness, okay? Evelyn is still trying to play victim, honey, because she's trying to tell you, say she's Afro-Latina, honey. I've been following this show for I don't know how many years since they've been on. Okay, and I ain't never, ever, 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 ever. Heard Evelyn talk about she Afro Latina, okay? Um, but of course, her and OG are having their uh, issues. You got fabricated Phoebe with her fabricated grill, honey, coming in talking about she dates some man that she used to date a while ago, and they're trying to figure it out. I don't even know why she back on the show. I, I really don't understand that. Um, but in other news, okay, for those of you who miss Miss Tammy Roman, we want to give a shout out to Miss Tammy Roman. Now she posted on her IG that this Houston mess has literally destroyed her Houston home. She's in Atlanta filming some things. And the shade room roomies had a lot to say about her and losing her house. Let me tell y'all something about being a celebrity, okay? Just because they you know who they are and they out here making a coin, that does not mean that losing a house just don't hurt your feelings. Okay, so I need some of y'all to go sit down, get you a blanket and a pillow, and take a nap with this foolishness. Okay, <laughs> humans is humans, and be having losses is a having losses. In other news, honey, we have been all in a tizzy with this Britney Spears documentary that has been, uh, uh, what is it, Framing Britney. Now, I yeah. have not seen this here particular documentary, but I hear that there's a <laughs> lot that goes on. And the public, honey, they got online and said, Justin, you owe Miss Britney an apology, okay? And so mm -hmm. Justin came on with his little caucus self, and he gave a, a, an apology to Miss Britney, and he gave an apology to Miss Janet. And I just feel like it was, mm, I don't know, two decades too late. So, <laughs> I mean, there's that. 
Now, I don't know if y'all follow sports, but if you do, you know that the Rush Limbaugh has died at 70. Now, I yeah. don't know who this white man is. I know that they gave a picture online that made his teeth look like he had wood chips in his mouth. But the public really don't give a damn about him being dead. Now, they say you're not supposed to talk ill of the dead. Well, honey, these people don't give no dams. They don't give no ways about it. Um, Because they are talking and dragging this man through the mud. Because apparently he was just not a nice person in the living space that he used to be in. So, Rush, hopefully you ain't on a Rush low ball to hell. Um, but God bless your spirit and all that goodness, okay? Uh, Demi Lovato, honey, has a new documentary coming out where they're saying, uh, talking about her struggle with addiction. So we definitely want to send prayers out to Demi Lovato. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, as I always say, if you cannot be petty, if you can't be pretty, be petty. And if you can't be petty, you find you a friend who can. Like me. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. Welcome back. I missed you last week. Look, I'm, glad you're I'm back. here. Okay, yeah. And you are here in all of your glory. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. And we absolutely looking good. We may go to a bigger platform. So keep yeah. praying. Woo, woo, woo. Thank woo, woo, woo. you. Yay, Daniel J. Right here on the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Have a great weekend. Wow, that's always fun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to say nothing bad about the dead. They say if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Oh, the worst limbo yeah, is that's true. good. Okay, so no, you shouldn't say. I don't mean that. I don't want nobody to die because you know they're gonna give his job to Donald Trump anyway. It's the same guy. All they're right. interchangeable, you know. Right. So right. no, I don't want right. nobody to die. But I'm I'm glad he off the air. I didn't know we was gonna have to kill him to do it. But okay, I'm sorry. Let me leave that alone. Jesus, I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus know when I'm joking. I ain't thinking about y'all. My job. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Where we at, Chris? Oh, man, it's time to bring the doctor on, man. Oh. It's time. Oh. Hey, Michael, sorry, you are, your picture is horrible. Is it horrible for you, Chris? Uh, it, it, Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it, Why it's been picking be up bad? by itself, though. I think this hat. Is bringing too much electrical charge. Okay, you want me to go it's off and come back? <laughs> go off and come on. And then we're gonna come back right on. I'm coming right back on with yes, Chris, Doctor Christian Dr. Gregory. Yes, Dick Gregory yes. son, y'all, who gonna give us the low down on the low down? Okay, Chris, go and talk to the people. I step out and come back. Yes. So, guys, don't go anywhere. We have a phenomenal show coming up. Like he said, Dr. Christian Gregory is coming right up next. Then after that, we have this wonderful company, Melacast Company. But then, ladies and gentlemen, we have special guests. They were on at the beginning of the week, 3TOB. It's the original band that started the group, Tony, Tony, Tony. The band has gotten together, and oh, my God, they're going to give us some Tony, Tony, Tonisms this morning. Oh, I can't wait. Elijah. Baker, which don't call him Elijah. It's really uh, Ella Jade. <laughs> it's Ella Jade Baker, Antoine. The whole crew is going to be here, y'all, including uh, Amar. The lead singer is going to be here, too, Amar Khalil. So, y'all, stay tuned. 3TOB is coming back, um, and they're setting up for a world tour this coming year. So you guys do not want to miss that. But right now. Is it clear? A legend. Yes. I, I had to change yes. hats. That's all. I had to change hats. That's all. <laughs> as simple as that. Sometimes the simplest change in your life changes everything. <laughs> hey, y'all. I hope you're still having fun oh, with half Chris. Two at the Michael Kaye. Okay, you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, as you know, we celebrate Black History Month. I celebrate it every day, every month, Black History Month. To me, because I'm black man. Assalamu alaikum. Watu wazuri. Black to the bone, black man. But this week, our concentration has been on a real great genius, who, who's a comedic genius, but also a political genius and just an awesome man, nutritionist out of this world, taught a lot of people how to turn their lives around and be more healthy, and, and he has words of wisdom and a heart of gold. He recently transcended. I love him so much, and his son is here to tell us what's going down with his estate right now. Tell us some things about him that we didn't know. Get your hands together for the wonderful Dr. Christian Gregory. Woo! <laughs> Hey, hey, brother, how are you, King? 
What a pleasure. Michael, when we spoke, I had no idea, um, you know, how you were going to bring it. I knew it said new and improved, but I had no idea that it was going to be to this extent. This is like a variety show on steroids, my brother. So uh, it was a pleasure speaking to Ebony the other day. She's so professional. I do a lot of interviews and that's not always the case. And not even, I'm talking about folks who don't even look like us and speak our language don't always get it right. So You're this right. is a blessing, it's an honor speaking to you on behalf of the entire Gregory family here, man, coming to you from the Gregory studio. So you're talking HBCUs. You got a brother playing Black Jesus that was on. You had your red hat. I'm a little devastated you had to swap that out before my segment, but the universe was talking. And uh, one <laughs> night in Miami, you were talking about Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I mean, you can't get much more Gregory than what's been going on. So the universe had me on on the right day, brother. And I just want to say thank you to you and your team. Laughter such good medicine in such a dark and difficult time, albeit lots of silver linings. I listen to what Sister Ebony's going through and the folks just devastated in Texas. I mean, it truly, you know, it's laughter gives us wings, it lifts us up, but it's a real tragedy in this nation with our, with our economic abundance and wealth that something like this is happening because of mismanagement and folks stealing money. It always comes down to folks who simply decided not to winterize the grid because they figured it happens once in a blue moon. Well, that blue moon is now and it's profoundly unfortunate. So sending warmth and love to all of the Texans out there. Um, um, and this is just, this has been a spectacular way. I don't know where you get your energy from, man. I'm here on the East Coast, I'm in Washington, D.C. <laughs> It's late and I got a fraction of the energy y'all have bottled up. There we go, now we're talking, now I'm feeling yeah. it. The, uh, this is just outstanding, man. So thank you for having me. We spoke, I mentioned to you, I was just back from Sister Cicely Tyson's funeral service in New York City. It was just so incredibly uplifting. And and, and, th and there it is. I mean, the, the program, I mean, everything was, was regal and befitting of the queen. So uh, mm. for the last 20 years, I, I managed my dad. And it was a who's who of folks that would wind up in my, you know, in my orbit. And Miss Cicely Tyson and I, when I did my, a day out of chiropractic school, Miss Cicely Tyson was my first patient. She was my first wow. chiropractic patient. My wow. dad thought so highly of me. He said, Miss Tyson's now, I didn't know which Miss Tyson he was talking about. He said, Miss Tyson's next hurt. We're going to shoot up to New York, you know, and you're the best chiropractor in the world. Get it. Granted, I'm a day out of school. And so when we walked in and I realized who it was, but that she, she never had a chiropractor whose hands were trembling. She thought that was the healing energy. <laughs> that, was the, that was the gratitude and appreciation that I have for this woman and continue to have just such a blessing. Whenever she would come to DC, I would more or less be her body man like I was for my dad. And I would facilitate her from the moment she arrived to Union Station. A lot of people don't realize and a lot of celebrity families don't realize the love that our community has for certain elders that have really never turned their back. Uh, my dad would be one of them, Miss Cicely Tyson. Yes. I would drop her at the train station. She traveled with no honorage, no bodyguard, just like my dad, but true royalty being a true king or queen, you don't need all of that. Every, from the conductor on the train to every person working the train, they would surround her with love. And it was just the most beautiful thing from the moment she would arrive to she would leave. And you know, they say after people pass away, you tell secrets about them. But I was actually mm -hmm. telling this secret about Miss Tyson long before she passed. Um, she's a, a just a proficient reader. She reads everything, the back of labels. She won't put anything in her mouth without reading. So I'm very clear how good of a reader she was. So I was always shocked when we would go to Whole Foods and she would make a beeline to the hot food bar, there'd be five signs that said no sampling the food and she would take her plate and scoop out everyone and sit there. She was definitely a Whole Foods hot bar violator. And she, <laughs> the head, she was full. And I would say, well, she's earned that. I sure have it. She's earned that. And they That's never right. said anything to her. She got a Whole Foods hot bar pass. So, so many passes in life. Harlem really turned up and turned out they just it was it was it started with rain and it was dreary it was cold by the time we exited the church the sun was shining it was a balmy 52 degrees it was wow. just uh, the universe the universe was welcoming her and just letting us all know on a universal level as my dad would always say the universal god was saying thank you Who for your sacrifice up? and a life well lived so Chris, uh, I, I would say yes Chris. i would say the church was part 
who showed up? Did, did who came yeah, to so the, the funeral? church? Was that it was about twenty percent capacity, so it was very very um, 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 social distance. So um, Hillary and Bill were there. So President Clinton and Senator Clinton, mm -hmm. um, Tyler Perry, um, mm -hmm. and everyone spoke. So Tyler Perry. Um, uh, let's see, it was um, uh, B.B. Winans. I mean, he really told some secrets. I mean, and so mm -hmm. a lot of the service, Sis Miss Tyson had had selected these folks. And so she had asked Brother B.B. to sing Stan, and he did not disappoint, but he said, there's one thing Miss Tyson asked me to do that I will not be able to do. And I told her at the time, she asked me before I got to the second verse in the song to open the casket and she was gonna sit up. And he said, I'm just telling you right now, Miss Tyson, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> and it's just the laughter because these folks, and you don't realize this because these folks, my dad, Ms. Tyson, they're so serious. Despite, despite the fact my dad was a comedian, but the, and as my dad would always say, the difference between being a comedian and being humorous. And this, and we, I've, I've watched today on your show people who are humorous. I've seen your comedy. But to see this humorous, uh, this, you know, reflexive side and the joy that it's bringing, Cicely Tyson was a humorist. She was funny. She saw things, you know, my dad was born in 1932. The Tyson was born a couple years before him. They saw things in their lifetime that we just simply can't appreciate. I so for granted. I'm definitely sending love and gratitude to the Tyson family. It just was a, it was a beautiful service. Um, lavender was her color. So the home that she stayed at whenever she was in D.C., we've remodeled that the, the, and called it the Sissy Tyson Suite. We painted it lavender. We have her photos up. You know, these people, they're omnipresent. They never nice. leave us. I mean, as they transition, they're omnipresent. They're still here with us. I felt her spirit in the church. Oprah didn't make it. So Oprah didn't make it, but she sent now. So Viola Davis, as you mentioned, uh, Oprah Winfrey, so many people and, and have sent heartfelt statements of condolences and were read. The family was very selective. So they wanted one person to represent the political sphere, which were the Clintons. They, and with them right in Harlem, it made good sense. Tyler Perry represented Hollywood. And then there were families of other, you know, civil rights, and these folks were civil rights activists. I mean, that, you know, now we're starting to see that cycle come around again, where we're seeing a lot of black celebrities get involved with civil rights, but that wasn't the case for a good portion of the time. So it was, everyone was represented. You felt the other's energy there, but it was it was sparse, it was space, there was no repast. We went and there was a beautiful burial service afterwards. And so it was, it was wonderful and uplifting. Well, yay, and thank you for giving us that love on her because that gives us a twofer because we got our I sister Tyson <laughs> fixed. Now I got to get my Dick Gregory fixed. Now you said there's right. books coming out, documentaries. What's coming out? So a lot of good things. So as you may have seen, um, the very talented Joe Morton is doing a one-man play that he's been doing for a couple years now called Turn Me Loose. It's based on my dad's book, um, as, as many of you, over a million copies sold. Um, I you know, love the book, nigga. I have and, that. And, and, he named it nigger because he wanted folks to realize and put the shame to say, you all put this word on us. Now we're putting it back on you. Now that we're using it, you want to flip it and say it's a bad word. He despised the N word. And I'm also pleased to say that nigger has just been released in Japan. I've never been called the N word in Japanese. So this is, this, and so, so when you get into the book, my, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can read all these caricatures, but um, wow. I'm trying to figure out which one, which one means nigger, so which I can look out nigger? for it in the future. <laughs> so just, just in case, yeah, just in case. So no, it's uh, we're getting ready to do a, a foreign language translation of the book in Croatia. My dad had 15 books that he wrote. All 15 of them are going to be available on Amazon's Audible. Six of them are already up. Many of them they're doing a theatrical treatment for. They're just breathtaking. Sadly they're still, they're not historical and they should be, they're topical. It deals with things like what we saw on the 6th of January at the Capitol. He, all of these things he's talked mm -hmm. about almost like in a prophetic type way. And so there's a new documentary. Um, the working title is the one and only Dick Gregory. It's in post-production. It's gonna be on a major um, um, cable platform. I can't announce it just yet, can't announce, but it's a who's who, the producers are just out of this world. It'll run this summer. We had 1,500 hours of archival footage. The documentary is almost told in my dad's voice. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of wild folks that love Brother Dick. And so we wanted to make sure folks didn't accuse us 
of changing what his intentions were. So you will hear most of this documentary in his voice and a few of us kind of calibrated a bit. So it's just very exciting, Michael. It is. I mean, we're running out of time, but I need you to just tell me two more things about him that we don't know because we have two minutes left. Tell me two things that we don't know about him because what I think folks don't know is how down to earth he was, how just a real good man. He was just a good guy. Go ahead. He raised us in Plymouth, Massachusetts on a farm, Tower Hill Farm. Our address and phone number was always published. He was always accessible. And that was the farm when, when Marvin Gaye was in trouble, um, Michael Jackson, Larry Flint. This is where they came to recharge their batteries. And so, you know, we know we both know a lot of comedians. They're not always as dynamic off the stage as they are on the stage. He was the same live wire, whether he was doing a show for a million people yes. on television or one person in the grocery market, he would, he gave it 110%. The week we lost my dad, he had 10 shows scheduled. You know how they do the three shows at a comedy show? He had right. 10 shows scheduled that week. And so he did just what he wanted to do. He had had a host of health problems leading up to his transition. Most of them related to not the healthy fasting, but starving himself in the 60s and 70s. It ultimately caught up with him. But He's as omnipresent as ever. He's joining us here today. Not just uh, Brother Bill Cosby commissioned this painting of my dad and presented it to the family when my dad transitioned. So it just is, he's all around us, his energy, and it just, we're just going to keep it moving. So I appreciate the time. I appreciate Thank the love. You. Keep giving the wisdom, man. Keep the wisdom, keep the laughter, keep it in motion. Thank you. I want to salute you for keeping the torch alive for our great king, for a great, great man who brought so much to our society. I want to send love out to your mom, to Leo, to his yes, wonderful, yes, yes. wonderful wife who stuck with him through thick and thin, through all of it. That's Miss Leo, no y'all. No and you know your first cousin <laughs> came on here and did comedy. Mark Gregory, Mark Gregory's a good brother. Mark Gregory turned it out. Keeping it in motion. Keeping it in motion. He is an institution. His family is great. And I am thrilled that all the books are going to be on Audible because I'm a big Audible fan. So I will be yeah. listening to all of them. Yeah. I already have the book, nigga. I love you, Dr. Uh, and you my love and appreciate my you. Brother, you Christian, so. And before you even ask me, woo, 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 my brother. Keep That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can reach him and get more information on Instagram at the Dick Gregory, the real Dick Gregory, or at Dr. Christian Gregory, or at there, Dick Gregory on Twitter, or I am Dick Gregory or on Facebook, Dick Gregory IG. It's all printed right there for you. All Please there. All follow there. them, lift them up, and we got to learn to love each other always and keep the torch burning. Thank you, King. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Keep up the good work. Take care now. I, I love you. Thank you. Good morning. Hey, y'all. It's the wow. Michael. That, that was awesome. That was amazing. Really cool. We have to keep that hope alive amazing. now. We have to rearrange some things. And there's some people who are waiting to expect this line to go a certain way. But uh, I always go too long. Okay, so um, so we we missed uh, some things. We got to go directly to 3TOB because they in the studios waiting to perform. I'm ask my other artists, please be patient because everything is still going down. We got money to give away. We got the Melanin Sisters coming in here. It's going to be the bomb.com. But right now. We have to go to this wonderful, wonderful group. You, you, I can say formerly known as Tony, Tony, Tony. They are all the original players. We're just missing one person. But like I said, we got to keep hope alive. And they keep it alive. Get your hands together for three T O B. How y'all doing, family? Woo, woo. We good. What's how you doing? I love that woo woo. I'm super califragilistic, expialidocious, and even more than that, because here y'all are live in the studio with us. Thank you for coming. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yeah, it's sir. Good. It's good to be here. You know, I miss I missed last what? What was it? Was it Monday or uh, Friday? Last whatever? Friday. Yep, last Friday. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was, you know, I was on that real job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was but, on that real job, you know, trying to pay some bills. So we all got that real job. That's right. That's right. But y'all here today, brother. And yes, even are, more brother. than that, I'm excited that y'all are here today. I'm not yes, just talking about in the studio here, but talking about here in our presence, maintaining who yes. you are, holding that up and keeping this going. That's powerful. Man, That's powerful. it's only by the grace of God, man. It is only, truly 
by the grace of God that he keeps us each and every day, gives us the breath of life, the gift of life, and to be able to still share the gift of music, man, it is um, it is a joy, man, and, and one that we don't take for granted. Yeah. Wow. Man. Yeah. Ain't God great, though? Ain't God great? Oh, man, God is God. God is it. I don't care. You know, I don't even get into arguments with people about God. You mm -hmm. do you if that if, if that ain't your thing. <laughs> but I know that he's kept me and I know that and I, I and I've seen him work in ways like like even when my grandmother passed, I saw the presence of God in that room. So so I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. So. Preach. <laughs> well, 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 well. You better, you better let him use you. I know that. He about to preach over here, man. Thank y'all. First of all, before we go to the music, I want people to know where they can reach you guys because y'all have a powerful story. The documentary is off the chain. And there you go. Three T-O-B and at Ambitious Records because I know you guys are on Super Clock. So if you do your music, if y'all get a jet, I don't want them to miss this important part on how they can reach you. Oh, yeah. And, that. and Christopher, um, I need Christopher to jump in here for one second because Christopher is our research guy. And I know Christopher has the one powerful question we got to ask. Christopher, <laughs> you got one? Yes. You saw the doc. I, I have 15 questions. Oh, First bro, of all, gentlemen, what? the doctor, the, the documentary, documentary was amazing, okay? Uh -huh. And thank you, Mr. Baker, for showing us all over Oakland. Loved it, okay? Yeah. No, I, I, uh, I, I, but... Yeah. Yes, but my one question I want to know for now is for you, um, between you, uh, Mr. Uh, Jubu, and Elijay and Amar, uh, you guys have a tour coming up, right? So are you going to be only doing Tony, Tony, Tony songs, or is 3TOB going to be lifting off into another venture? We are definitely going to be doing both. Um, people know nice. I'm and, um most of the group members have was contributing both songs with the, with all the hits. Right, you will call majority. And uh, hey, we've been at and they've been eating off of it. We want to eat off it too. And That's right. Right. That's right. Right. So, right. And we're gonna so bleed in three TOV, and that's what we can do by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We got individual songs of each group. I got Park Avenue. He got A Mark Miller. He got Legally Blind. We're gonna do a hit off each one of those as well. And we just go merge yes. it, man, and um, do our thing. But the caveat, did you, did you go ahead? Did you tell him about the caveat? Yeah, tell, you tell him. Oh, you tell know, wait, there's a caveat. There's a caveat. What? Yeah, caveat. But the caveat is this we have one of the founding members of the Platinum Plus group in Vogue, Don Robinson, who's teamed up with 3TOB. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love oh! Don Robinson. Oh, my, oh God. my God, please yeah, give her my love and tell her hot. I said hi. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a hot show. Um, we're, getting ready yes. to do song, we're getting ready to do a song together. We're working on some stuff with her for her wow. project. And um, we're doing, we, we're getting ready to do. And then we brought to, to, to the real thing. July 10th. July, July 10th. 10th. We're doing a virtual show with Don Robinson, 3TLB. And we're going to sprinkle a little David Hollister in there, too. How about that? Come on, y'all! Yeah. Come on, y'all! Yeah. That's what I'm talking July, about. July 10th? July 10th? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so you July need to fly 10th. out, Mike, and, and host it. And what city are you doing it in? Boom! Oh, okay. Dude, I will come and host it if you mean that. I'm in there we like that. We mean that. That's why wow. I have this show, Chris. I just got a job. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm calling April, wow. and we are lining that up. I'm putting that on my calendar today, July 10th. I'm there with you. Let's do that. Oh, God bless y'all. gonna be good. We gotta let them do the song now. And yes. uh, yes. ladies and gentlemen, we're excited. They came here uh, last week, but they were all spread out. They came together in the studio so they can do this song for us, ladies and gentlemen. Please receive them with love, peace, and joy. Three, three, O B. So listen, oh, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna give y'all a dose of three T O B and then we're gonna give y'all a little snippet of something else special. One, All right. two, three. Okay, night, yeah, baby. 
I wanna, I wanna spend it all. You are my queen, my everything. The reason I stand tight on. Let's spread our wings and fly away to Jupiter and Mars. Let's take a trip around the moon. Let me dance with the stars. Never gonna give you up. You're the only one that I can trust. I will always build you up. I can never, ever, I, 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 I never gonna give you up. You're the only one that I can trust. so beautiful but I'm, I'm coming july 10th y'all shouldn't have said that out loud everybody <laughs> heard y'all say that everybody heard y'all heard him say that we meant every word of that we want you there man i love you man i encourage everybody to watch this documentary so they see the story uh and i want people to support you i see april has put her information up there april is helping you with the management of this and moving y'all about and and y'all can reach. It was that April. She said she had a number up there. I saw it a minute ago. Where is mid April? Mid April? Mid April? Y'all got to and, and real quick, you know, um, what's your you um 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 Instagram? Stuff? Oh man, Jubal at Instagram, Jubal dot Smith at Instagram, Jubal dot Smith. Yes, and on all all the other uh, social media platforms, J U B U. Type that in, Jubal Smith, and I'll pop up. And I wanted to tell you, I'm glad that I kept my word to you, Brother Collier. And I'm keeping my word to you again. We'll see you on July 10th. Oh, man. I'm writing it down, too. You say what you want to say. <laughs> I wrote it down, and people heard that. I'll be in Oakland. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I don't usually announce my gigs, but I'll be in Oakland July 10th. <laughs> <laughs> on July 10th. And then Amar Khalil is only one Amar Khalil. That's only the number one A-M-A-R-K-H-A-L-I-L. -L. That's on Twitter. 
and Instagram, and then on Facebook, just regular Amar Khalil. Wow. Give me your... I'm going to speak for the other two right now. Antron Ice Cream Hill on Instagram. Antron Hill on Facebook. Oops. Carl Wheeler on Instagram. Uh, Leonard Wheeler on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Elijah underscore E.B. Baker underscore mm -hmm. Baker on all platforms. Elijah underscore E.B. underscore Baker on all platforms. Ambitious Records, YouTube, um, um, Only one name three T O B on all on the, social yeah. media platforms. Ambitious on all social media platforms. Grab that single, never gonna give you up or trading places on all, all platforms. platforms. <laughs> trading places, yeah, on all platforms. And we got a couple more secrets coming up. And for Christmas, we got a Christmas song waiting for y'all too. Wow, wow, I'm loving all of this, man. Y'all just who y'all set the show on fire. Thank you. I want to say this. I'm a big fan of loyalty. So, and we look at we look at the documentary, and my question is, and I feel like it did. Did this the things that didn't work out? Did it make you guys realize the importance of loyalty, and did that bring you guys closer together? Definitely, yes, yes. very much so. Yes. Very much yes. so. And, and I can go ahead. Google. And we're still a work in progress. We you know. Still, yeah, we're still a work in progress. We're we're still learning to communicate better amongst us now because we value us more because of the things that we've gone through right. i don't want to lose these these guys so now i'm yes. able to pull back a little bit of my pride you know at times mm -hmm. to, to see the bigger picture because yes. i know their importance to me because those the other guys i love them just as much i miss them just as much but it, it didn't turn out right you know how we would like it to turn out. I don't want to mess that up again. I don't want to make the same mistakes or or let the same things happen that allow me to be strange from my brothers. You know. But then even but then even more so than that, everyone now realizes that if I go to Cancun, I want you to come with me. I want you to take the trip. I don't want to take the trip by myself and come back and tell you how great it was. You need to be able to afford and take that trip with me. So therefore. Everyone now, and and you know, Ela J spearhead spearheads it. Um, equal equal value, uh, on, on you know across the board. If I got it, you got yeah. it, and that's and that's what's going to make three T three T O B work versus what happened with the Tonys. Now now you know, God bless them. God bless them. The Tonys are still going to rock and do their thing. Yes, they are. Um, but let's see each other at a at a show or a concert. Yeah, yeah, you know? that'd, yeah that'd be great. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great. Y'all uh, yeah. rock and do what you do, but we gonna rock and do what we do. And it, it, it's right now just two great bands coming together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, they like them a little bit more than I like them, but um, that's 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 all that's that's all that's <laughs> Let me let me tell you where the strength and all is of this end that I see. The strength is in the learning. You know, you guys learn from this. You know, everything in life is a lesson. And if you do it right, it's a lesson and a blessing. So it doesn't really ever really matter what happened to you. What matters is what do you do about it? How, how do you utilize it? How do you process it and turn it into a thing that turns into gold and wealth for you? And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the gold in your heart. It makes you feel great about who you are as you unfold into your greater self. And I'm looking at y'all do it. I'm looking at you saying, okay. And that's what I meant. And that's what yeah. I meant about equal equal value. Yeah. And that, and that had nothing to do with, with monetary. It's just that I value you. And since I value you, I'm going to make sure that you get what you're supposed to have. Exactly. I love that. Love it's that. Love protecting that. each other. Not, not, not empty promises, but really, really, really protecting each other. It's about transparency. It's about really, honestly, man, it's about treating you how I would want you to treat me. Period. For, for, from my standpoint. You know? And my thing is, everything that happened 10 minutes ago is already over. Sorry. So that shit go. Yeah. Now we're to the new day, baby. 
Now we see the new improved you guys with new energy, new light, new power, new music, new presentations and performances, man. And that's what we really want to see anyway. So it's sort of like the life of a snake. And that first skin is beautiful and shiny. But when you do with that, what the snake do? He peel that shit off. And because he's fresh and new again, he can even move better, you know? And I see y'all moving better. I see y'all creating greater than you've ever created before. So you're going to be so powerful. People gonna say Tony who? What are you talking about Tony? Tony who? So they're gonna be in three T O B and the cold cold brothers who learned and grew from it. We're very proud of you guys, man. I'm proud, proud, proud Thanks of y'all, proud of you, man. And thank you for being here today. So we're gonna need y'all in harmony to say, woo woo woo, <laughs> woo woo woo. woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> That, that wasn't no harmony, but y'all was there. Here we go. God bless y'all, and we're really honored to have you here today. And I'm, I'll am i be there July 10th. I'll be calling this April later today. But all of this is good. It's all good because it's all God. Keep God in the center of your mix, and I guarantee you it'll all work out. You guys sounded really beautiful today. Thank you. We are honored to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, 3-T-O-B. Woo, woo, woo. Chris, let's take him out. Thank you. Yes, man. Wow. Wow. That was historically a woo woo to the woo 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 woo. I love it. A great interview, great music. And I got a job out of it. I ain't mad at nobody. (laughs) Right. I'm going to put on my David Ford's. Oh, David Ford. <laughs> David Ford. Okay, David so all right. Oh, but we have a lot of people waiting for us, so. Okay, but we only have two hey. more things. We have two more things, right? Three total. We have first two the Melanin, things, yeah. the Melanin sisters. I'm calling them the Melanin sisters. That's Melon not what they call, they call themselves. Melanin they call themselves Melanin Well, I call them the Melanin sisters because it's actually two sisters uh, who put this together. And they're so yes. sharp. And this is so beautiful on how the show is flowing because the show is about blackness and I and us loving each other and lifting each other up. It's yeah. Black History Month. The black icon, Dick Gregory, his son comes in, comes through. Then the black legends come in and sing for us and show us how to yes. grow, how to turn life around. We're talking black, black, black. we talking melanin. And now the melacast.com is going to jump on here because their whole function is to help bring into the industry people of melanin, those of us of color. So let's bring them in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for the Melacast company. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to laugh this much in the morning. When you said 7 a.m., I was like, who has energy (laughs) this early? I've been laughing nonstop. Oh, God bless you. And is your sister going to join us or no? No, unfortunately, she can't be here. So I'm speaking for the group. Yay, pronounce your name. Araqua. 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 Yeah. Araqua. And that means daughter of Wednesday? Lady born on Wednesday. Lady born on Wednesday. And tell me yeah. your sister's name. Her name's Aradua, and it means lady born on Monday. Wow. So now who was born on Tuesday? Anybody? It's no one in my family, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to the Michael Kyle Morning Show. Thank You're you just a me. beautiful queen, and it's really good to see you, sister. Thank you for joining us. Tell us, tell us what you do. Of course. So I am the founder of the Melacast Network. We're mm-hmm. a casting collaboration network for BIPOC film creatives, so Black, Indigenous, people of color in the film industry. We cater mm-hmm. to them. Our main goal is to diversify the film industry, not just by having people of color in front of the camera, but also mm-hmm. by having people of color behind the camera. Because something I realized really early on is that it's not enough to have a person of color on screen if the people behind the screen writing these roles are still writing these stereotype roles, if they're still mm-hmm. making the black woman the angry black woman, if they're still putting us in these boxes that aren't showing us in a genuine and truthful way, it's not gonna truly change the industry. So what we do mm-hmm. is we connect to direct directors with actors, we connect directors with crew, and our end goal is that people have a community to come to. They have a network of people of color that look like them, that understand their stories, and that are ready to tell their stories in a genuine way. So that's what we do. Um, And the way that the idea for this came about was, I mean, I 
I always knew I wanted to be in the film industry. I was in love with films. But like I said, whenever I would watch these films and these t TV shows, the people on screen rarely looked like me. And when they did look like me, they were usually displayed in a negative light. They were usually displayed in stereotypes. And so um, just for fun, I used to rewrite my favorite scenes and my favorite shows to have people um, that look like me and talk like me. And that started my passion for film writing and for um, putting people that look like me on the screen. And so when I got to NYU, I came in with this idea of, OK, I'm going to New York. It's the melting pot. Like I'm going to see so many Black people. I'm going to see so many faces. I got to school and it was just the same. It was it was exactly the same. I was usually only the only black person the in only my one. class. Yeah. Um, I was typically the only person of color, period, in my classes. And so when I got to mm -hmm. the point when I was writing my films and trying to tell these stories, I mm -hmm. often had no one that shared my experiences to talk about them with. And so yeah. what launched the idea for Melicast itself was I wrote this script that was really close to my heart and I wanted to cast two Ghanaian sisters for the lead roles. And so I went on to these platforms and I put on the, um, the casting description and the movie description and everyone who applied to the, sh um, to the role was white. And um, as much as I want, yeah, <laughs> no matter like, despite like the description, what the characters I wanted, everyone who applied was white. And so I didn't have the means to like, look for someone for a lot longer because I had a deadline. I had to, I had to finish my film. And so I ended up changing my script. I ended up compromising and I ended up casting two white women for the role. And Michael, when I tell you, when I was on set, I was on autopilot. Like I was just, I felt like a zombie almost on set because the whole reason I wanted to go into this industry was to change it and hear I was compromising my vision. So that yeah. was the moment that I was like, okay, this is a lesson. At the time I was angry, but it was a lesson for me to take away. And I was like, I can't compromise anymore. And I know that there's so many other directors out there that are compromising their vision because they're just not finding that the, the talent that they need on these big platforms that our schools are giving to us. I gotta repeat your story because I want folks to actually hear it. You speak kind of quick, kind of fast. And oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, don't to, you don't have to because, you know, can't nobody fire us. I own this shit. So because <laughs> I want to hear you. And the thing is, you said two Ghanaian sisters and you said that fast. And I don't know if people realize that that means that you are from Ghana. Yes. And Ghanaian sisters, you're talking about two sisters from Ghana. So you wrote a story about two Africanic sisters yes. and it's compromising by using two white girls because the other elements of the melanin was not there. Mm -hmm. Our sisters weren't available to, to bring. And so you want to, you, your company is going to set up a situation where we can start bringing sisters of color, not just in front of the camera, but behind the camera in all aspects of the industry. Mm -hmm. And the important thing to note also is that it's not that there wasn't a Ghanaian actor out there. It's that mm -hmm. they weren't on these platforms that my school was giving me. So that they were out there. I knew they were out there, right. but, they, but they weren't in these organizations. And so that's mm -hmm. when I was like, I need to make an organization that is catered to people of color and it's made by people of color. So that that's what launched me forward. And like you said, yes, the role was for two Ghanaian sisters. Um, my dad is from Ghana. My name is from Ghana. Um, so much of my heritage and my identity is rooted in that country. And so it was really important to me that my story had that roots in it. Um, but then I ended up changing everything from the food to the decorations on the wall, just because wow. I couldn't find the people um, to play those roles. And something that was interesting is I decided to keep their names the same because it was like the one thing that I had. And so I you had, didn't call them Karen. You didn't call them Karen. No, it, it, okay. that was that was for me though. That was for me though. So when people would watch it, they'd be like, that, "That's an interesting name." And that was just for me <laughs> to remind to remind myself that this was not supposed to be how this came out. And so when I look back at that film, like I can barely watch it, but I'm happy that it happened. And I'm happy that that mistake happened. And I went through that because now I know that going forward, I will never compromise. So my next film, I didn't compromise. We started the Melicast and we casted all of our cast from the Melicast. Half of our crew was from the Melicast and it was just, it just had a different energy and it was a different experience. And it was so worthwhile to take the time to make sure that I was telling my story correctly. And that's what we want to do for future directors and crew members and actors out there as they enter the industry. Proud of you. Good, good job.
good Thank job. You. Proud of you and proud of you for seeing the lesson in it. You know, once again, as I speak to the three brothers who just was on singing with us, three TLB, it's about seeing what the lesson is. Mm -hmm. And you see that, strengthen yourself. And you saw the lesson because you could have walked away defeated and saying, okay, that's just the way it's going to be. Mm -hmm. White folks want to show up. But no, we can reach out to our own folks because we are, like you said, we are here. Mm -hmm. we, are here. we just need to get them on the platform so we can utilize it. I'm proud of you, girl. Thank and you. And your sister. <laughs> Who I wanted to meet too. She was just lovely when I talked to her on the phone. Now, where are you? What city are you in today? I'm in New York right now. The weather is terrible, but like I said, your show has just brought so much joy to my day. But I'm in New York. I'm in Queens. Oh, yay. Well, give <laughs> your sister our very best. Tell people how they can find you so they can ask me questions and get involved. Yeah, so you can find us. Our Instagram is the Melacast Net. You can find us also on our website, www.themelicast.com. And my personal IG is there as well. It's at Rayqua. And it's so easy. The way you put it is so simple for people to remember. It's Melicast. So it's casting for people of melanin. Mm -hmm. It's our folks. Melicast. Dot com. I love it, and I really love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for Thank being you here. Thank you for having me. Hey, can you give us a woo woo woo? Woo woo woo. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. And say your name again. I want to pronounce it. Araqua. Araqua. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, Araqua Dawson Amal. Yes? <laughs> Amoa. Amoa. Yeah. Araqua Dawson Amoa. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Right here on the Michael Kaya Morning Show. She's stunning. She's wonderful. And she's bringing it back to the community. Young man, how you doing? Nice. I am excited for these last guests, man. Oh, my gosh. They have so we much. We have two show. more guests? They've been here. Uh, yeah, two guests together. The Cooking with Andrew is down. Oh, I forgot about now. Andrew. Andrew is yeah, doing the cooking. Yeah. And, and, and so uh, patient Ty, please be patient. Miss Ty, let me go to Miss Ty. Miss Ty, please. Yes, hi, Ty. <laughs> oh, I went to rearrange things because 3TOB was on a hard clock. But thank okay. you. It's good to see you. And the thank good thing you. is, you're going to be the headliner. You're going to follow the money. Right. So we'll be right back with you. I love it, y'all. That's Ty Davis, who is, when I say phenomenal, let me just say real quick. Yes. I saw her because yeah. I was at the, the, Black, uh, the, the Black Film Festival in Miami. What does that have to do oh, with wow. comedy? I have no idea. Somebody said they got a comedy show. Comedy show. I love comedy show. They said, no, not comedy show. Comedy contest. Ooh, I love contests. Ever what? since Fox wait, what year was this? Movie. What year was this? I don't know. About three years ago, maybe. Three years, okay. What year was this? That you won that comedy contest? Two nineteen. Two nineteen. Two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Okay. So I go in the contest. All the folks I know that run comedy are all up in there, right? So right, right. My fell off. My feather fell off. So oh no, feather down, think, feather down, yeah, feather down. I think Bill Bellamy was the host, I think, if not mistaken. Bill Bellamy was the host. Mm -hmm. It was all men except her, okay? The first two guys came on board. The first one was good. The second one, dynamite. This child walked up on that stage, dude, and within 15 seconds, you forgot both of them. You forgot they was even oh. in the room. <laughs> See, when I say she blew the room up, the next two people should just left. They should just put their head oh, down. Wow. Get that room like this. And let, I mean, she smashed it up. HBO, <laughs> everybody was looking at her. Then we went out to do our black cruise. I made sure yes. we brought her on that cruise. She is the bomb.com. Oh, She's going to be our headliner God. today, y'all. That's Miss Ty Davis. Okay, but we got to yes. get to this guy, Andrew. He's got a cooking mm -hmm. segment. We ain't never had no cooking yeah. segment on here. This is new. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at the food. Ooh, Show that me that looks so good. Beautiful. Oh. Him and his wife has a catering firm. Oh, my God, that looks good. You think that's chicken? That looks like chicken. I, oh, what else you got? Be there is oh, the missus. I hope they wrote that book she's holding, helping ourselves look at the food. Uh, help. Oh, that is them. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. That's Let's brilliant. bring them. Oh my gosh. Stop it. We haven't eaten yet. You got to cut this out. Wait, I Kelly. Know, look at this. Wait, go back. Kelly didn't see the food. Go back. Look at that. Ooh, that's Hit them on the two plates real quick. Oh, give me one more. Oh. Wow. Delicious looking. 
Hey, you Kelly. Already? Grand Risings to all. Happy Friday. Blessed Friday. Mm, oh, my yes. gosh. You don't stay in the light. Stay in the magic. Stay in the moment. Hug yourselves. Love yourself. Amen. Hydrate. Water and, and if sun. you in Water Texas, and stay in the house. Uh, uh, that's a lot of energy. Well, he did it. Good <laughs> <laughs> morning, Doctor No. How are you this morning, Debbie Howard? All right. Okay. Okay. So, without further ado, let's bring yes. his, his last name is like L L L L L L Lanigan. Lanigan. Ladies and gentlemen, been very enthusiastic about being on the show. We got a cooking segment. Get your hands together for Andrew Lanigan. Oh, Lanigan! Hey, Andrew. How you doing, brother? Thank you. How you doing today, Michael? Amazing and blessed. Oh my goodness! Look at the food. What are you making for us today? Well, today, you know, since they finally decided to. Let my living room not be a walk-in freezer. You know, that was crazy. It's supposed to be here on Monday, but had to hang out in my bathroom and light a menorah continuously. <laughs> we had the attitude of gratitude. We keep it going. We're always positive. You know how we do, you know. So today what I want to do is I want to show you all how to heal naturally. And all y'all y'all talk about with wellness and healing naturally, that's, that's what I'm all about. And uh, one of the things I do is, is I read a lot. Like y'all talk about how to heal yourself, happiness diet talks about the synergetic properties of nutrition. Uh, you okay. have like helping yourself. Rico was talking about the importance of checking the labels, the ingredients. You get a book like oh, I've seen that book. That's a great book. I've seen that book. You want to avoid stuff like high fructose corn syrup, MSG, genetically modified ingredients, colors, dyes, all that stuff. Because that'll make you that'll make your tummy hurt. You don't want that. And so okay. today what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna show you how to use the synergetic properties of nutrition making something i know you'll like called a scallops de oaxaca and it's scallops a de oaxaca that oh. almost sound like something you get on your foot i had a big old oaxaca it hurt like hell but i can walk better now okay oaxaca okay go ahead and it's an authentic style mexican cuisine my dad's a spanish teacher so i studied a whole lot of that style of cuisine uh okay. authentic mexican italian uh, mediterranean all of these Will include okay. synergetic properties of food very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you, as we say, we're going to get you out of the drive-through line and in the checkout line at the at the grocery store. Even if it is whole paycheck, I mean Whole Foods, it's going to yeah. make a whole lot better. Make you be feeling super califragilistic, espialidocious. If you're in the drive-through line, you're going to be feeling really atrocious, quite atrocious. So we're going to stop. <laughs> so here we go. So start I, out by taking the plate. And holding it right up to the camera so we can see what that dish, that's what the final dish is going to look like. Oh, my God. Turn that plate a little. The presentation is amazing, Andrew. Uh -huh. All right, go, real go ahead. Real uh -huh. easy. I mean, it looks all fancy, but it's real simple. See, so what you do, you start off with these sauces. And you can use your Ninja Blender. Real easy. These sauces, you just throw the ingredients. And I'll, I'll send you all a link. There'll be one on my Instagram with the recipes. And you just throw some parsley, cilantro, green onions, garlic, lime juice, some good quality olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Blend it up. Green sauce right here. Mm. Then you want the red sauce. You simply take your <clears throat> dried guajillo peppers or chili right. salt and you reconstitute them in the water. Get them nice. And then you put a little bit of tomato paste, lime juice, fresh cilantro, um, a little bit of vegetable broth, salt and pepper to taste. Blend that up. Red sauce. <clears throat> Oh, okay. All right. And then what we have on the, on the, put a little spinach down first. You gotta, you gotta have your spinach, you gotta have the good vitamins. And, uh, what I do is a little, uh, black bean, uh, a black eyed pea uh, version of like the charl beans you get at the, at the Mexican restaurants. You put okay. that down with a little bit of, uh, um, black eyed peas, carrots, uh, okay. pepper, onion, and minced garlic. And then you cook that okay. up and you have your, Second component, real quick. You can make oh, wow. Let me see that again. Don't go too fast. Bring that back up and let me see that kind of close. And that's all of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. I can that. That's good. And then what you're going to have next is your corn relish. Corn relish. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. And I'll show you how to assemble it uh, real, real quick. It's real easy. 
Yeah, because we only got two minutes to wrap this up. So come All on, right. tell me what to do. Is you're going to want to sear your scallops too, and you want to uh, dry them real nice and get a nice sear on. And so okay, you, you don't stick to the pan. Um, All right. And you don't want any moisture. Get your 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 pan nice and hot so they don't stick. Get a nice sear on them. Then you're done with that. See, we dropping stuff. That's okay. Here. That's okay. That's okay. I'm rushing you. That's all right. You're good. And then you, we got the air. I made a little surf and turf today for you because I know you like the chicken. Chicken is good, but God is great, as you say. And the chicken yes, with the beta carotene and the zinc from the chicken, those work in harmony. That's one of the things that we talk about here. So you got your ninja air fryer. All of that is in this dish? Sir, what was that? All of that is in this dish? Yes, sir. Chicken is in there. Scallops is in there. Chicken, corn relish. Uh, black eyed pea, charro beans, spinach, and the two sauces. And then mm. you air fry your chicken. You air fry your chicken, and here's how you assemble all of it. You basically okay. you take your sauce, and the way I did it is fancy. I mean, you don't have to make it as fancy. You don't have to look. It's going to taste as good, and you're going to get the nutrition, which is the most important thing. Then you put down your spinach. <clears throat> you lay down your black eyed peas, your corn relish, your chicken, a little bit of green sauce, scallops, a little bit of red sauce, and then I added a little bit of roasted red pepper there. That makes it look good, and red pepper mm -hmm. tastes good, too. And I can show you how to do that. It's real easy. Instead of having to buy them from the store, you buy a fresh one, you roast it, and it's all good. But see, in honor of Black History Month, I wanted to point out some of my favorite chefs right now. I studied in college uh, Miss Zephyr Wright, who was uh, the personal chef to Lyndon B. Johnson, and she actually helped influence um, – the signing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964, some believe. That's how she's black. Black, black woman. Yes, ma'am. Or yes, sir. She was a, she was she was black. Yes, she uh, influenced LBJ so much with her food, with her testimony of her experience that he, you know, some people believe that was what you know maybe pushed him to uh, to, to sign. Broke him down to sign a thing. Mm -hmm. So look, Andrew, we out of time, but yes, my right. goodness, but, you made it look good. Go ahead. But just if, if anyone needs, just y'all have my link, my number on there. Y'all call me if y'all need any help with instructional cooking. Um, I'll be able to, you know, give y'all advice and help y'all heal yourself naturally. Andrew, so, your we'll, information we'll, is going by right now. Andy right. and Samantha. The line. Through line and in the checkout line at the grocery store. And we're going to feel a whole lot better. Even if it's at Whole Paycheck, I mean Whole Foods, you're going to feel a whole lot better. <laughs> God bless y'all. Thanks for having me on the show. I'll be making uh, customized versions of all y'all's favorite food. Um, here Andrew, up. so people can write you and get the recipe for this? Yes, sir. At my Instagram, you just message me. Uh, I'll give you my number. We'll talk. I'll customize a menu for we you. We got your number. Your number is flowing across right now. People are seeing your number uh, right now. Chef Lanahan's catering and culinary. We got you. Look, can I bring you back in a couple of weeks with another dish? Yes, I'm, I'm actually, my training for my job stopped because of the frozen Texas weather. So I'm I'm available from until So you got a lot of time on your hands. Andrew, that's delicious. That looks wonderful. I loved your segment. I got the diamond right here. Your dog's name's Diamond, right? That's my dog's name. You are on it. Please leave us with a woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, y'all, that's Andrew Lenaham. Him and his lovely wife, Samantha, are cooking things up, man. We only got two things left to do. We still won't get out of here. We got less than five minutes and we got to be out yes. the door. So right now, y'all, we're giving away the money. We giving away money. What? People are giving away money. That's what we do here, y'all. It's been too much yes. cussing around here. People be cussing and we if you cuss on this show, we put the money in the money shop. Everybody is eligible to play this game, whether you won or not, okay? All you got to do now is guess the closest to the money. Now, here's the thing. What usually makes it beautiful is other people ask, uh, ask to uh, add money to the pot, okay? Yes. They will add money to the pot, and if they do, they do. If they don't, it's okay. No matter what, whoever guesses the closest to it, the amount is the one who gets the money. Okay. How much is in the jar plus how much? Chris, let me ask you a question, it. Chris. Yes. Do sir. we do it? Do we do it closest before the number or closest period? I would say okay, closest before saying. the number without going over. Okay, without going over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if someone said, so if it's one hundred dollars. 
and somebody mm -hmm. says uh, 98, but somebody says 101, the 98 gets it? Yes, the 98 gets it without you think, going over. You like that way? No, I don't think it goes through. because I am horrible in math and I am not going to do No, she's <laughs> no. Kelly, quick. Because Kelly, that is the thing. No, if you guys don't. If you guys, no. no, the only reason why I say no, because if not, either side. and then somebody pick 101, the 101 is closest. Yeah. Well, that's what we, yeah, but it's without. Well, I'll say this: when I played these games with the yeah, ball machines as a child, it was always whatever the number is without going over, and the confusion okay. of seeing who's closest is like ah. But okay, if that's I how you want to play, let's just stuff. tell You'll everybody. So that, come here and say. I think whoever's the closest over or not. Closest, okay. Yeah, and that's what Kelly is saying too. So we're outnumbered here. So we're gonna go to closest. Even if you pass it, <laughs> if your dollar is the closest to the dollar, no matter what side, that's the winner. I just want to get that clear before we do this, you know. So that's yeah. everybody clear on what we're doing. I don't say it that way, but it should, oh, be, what? Clo it should be closest forward, not over. Oh, it right. Should be yeah. forward. I do these but contests all the time on Instagram. And you always have to be the closest number forward, not the number that if you went over. You had to be okay. closest. All right. Forward. Well, it's it's a two and two on that because I think yeah. close to two, and so does so does uh Emily and you okay, and that's fine. That's fine. before it's, just, it's two yeah. and two. I'm going to um uh, let's it's give it up. So you decide. What do you decide? Emily, yeah. let's let's give it let's let's give it up, Emily. Yeah, that's fine. It either way. We're gonna right. give it up. Okay, we're gonna go your way, Chris, on this. So only before. If you go over it, you don't win. The closest without passing the number is, is the okay. winner. Now let me show you right now how much money is here right now. Okay. Ooh. This is what's here. You see some twenties. There's a five. There's a ten right there. Okay. And what you're guessing, what you're guessing, folks. Is the final is the final amount. So whatever is here, I'm adding fifty dollars to whatever is here. So you're, you're guessing fifty plus fifty. Now let me get my pen out. Usually other people jump in and add to it. Let me see if there is any jumpers on this one. Here oh, we go. you know what? I'm feeling froggy. So let me jump in and give you twenty on top of that. Shoot. That's my 50. Ribbit, ribbit. Chris is feeling froggy. <laughs> That's 20 for Chris. I got a 50 on there. Okay, I me. I wish I was a lot froggier, but it's not that much. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be. Is it 9 o'clock now? I'm supposed to be on another yes. TV show right at 9, right now. But that ain't going to happen. What? Um, okay, is any? don't guess the price, y'all. Don't guess the amount yet. It's too early to guess Not the amount. Yet. We're disregarding any yet. of that. Right now, is there anybody else that want to throw in to the pot? We'll take anything you want to throw in. Lisa Thomas, you say you got 20 on it. You understand that if you say you have something on it, you have to immediately put that in my cash app. So my cash yeah. app is throw that up. Dollar sign, dollar sign, Michael Callier's money. Because uh, once we have the money in from me sitting here, I'm sending this money directly to the winner. So Lisa, uh Lisa Thomas, are you serious? You still got 20 on it? <laughs> right. You gotta do it now, Lisa. He hasn't started taking numbers yet. Yeah, we're not we're not guessing how much is in the we're not guessing how much we're now. Trying to see who's interested in adding on to it. So if you want to okay. add on to it, so maybe it'll be a small pot. We know that at least $70, $70 is in there yes. on top of what's already there. We can add hers. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Thank you. And uh -oh. don't you do no more, sir. You stop it with your bad self. Rogue Guess, that beautiful man who God gave me that you, artwork, Rogue just Jess. added 100 to it. Bro. Okay, that's Rogue Jess added 100. Um, you are a real giver, bro. He's amazing. He's like amazing. <laughs> Yeah, is she adding it right now? She's going to add it to a PayPal. She doesn't have cash app. So she said she'll do it right now. 
Okay. Is it an American based PayPal? No. He said, he said it's an American based PayPal. <laughs> Bonnie Chambers just added 20. Love you, buddy. We got two wow. more minutes to take. Anybody else want to throw something in there? Whoa! Oh, Dr. Dr. Sabrina! Dr. Sabrina! Get you 50 in there. All right. Dr. Sabrina. Oh, my goodness. Rojas. Rojas changed that to 200, y'all. So that's 200 wow. for Rojas. So we got a 50, wow. a 20, a 200, a 20, and a 50 on top of what you saw laying there. Thank you, okay. Lisa Thomas. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to give us one more minute. If anybody else want to jump in, we got Thank one you, more minute of giving. One more minute of giving, and it's the cash, y'all. It's because you're here at the Michael Kaya Morning Show, where we give away money and things. Yes. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Ruthie Davis wants to add $15, sir. Ruthie's adding what? 15 from Ruthie. $15, yes. 15 from Ruthie Davis. Now, Ruthie, remember, yes. anybody who's doing this, you have to send the money right now to my cash app, <laughs> Because once we get the winner, I'm sending the money right now to them. Okay, Ruthie Davis. Mimi, you now, still have time. You good, Mimi. Just And we right did now. have you one woman me, came Mimi. on here, and she threw in 50 and never put the money in. And I swear to God, I dogged her for the whole week. Okay. Uh, we got 20. Oh, is that oh, Michelle? No. Yes, Michelle. From Michelle Gray. Gray. What's up, Michelle? Thank yeah. you. And... Misha L is also sending some too, Michael. What is Misha L doing? Oh, Misha $10. is dollars. Misha, get in the game, y'all. Don't be out of the game. Get in the game. A hundred. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. okay. We're counting down 30 seconds and we're gonna stop giving. We got uh I gave 25. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Plus a bucket full of pool water. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, look at God. This woman here, y'all, is having to go to the pool to get water for the pot. Still giving. And she's oh. still giving. There's no reason here. not to not be evident. <laughs> I know Ty's like, if you fools oh, don't come on, let me do that little corner in three minutes. It's gonna I be a know, Ty. I'm sorry, Ty. We almost said, but we got I to get the people like some money. Okay, all right. I think that's <laughs> it. Uh, that's a hurt. Okay. It's wait, the wait, wait, feather, wait. ladies and gentlemen. He so the feather in his head. Okay, I think that's it. That's okay. That's not now we're cutting off the money given. Money given is cut off. Okay, that's me. it. That's now all. Now it's time to. I think we saw everybody. Yes. I'm not repeating to y'all how much money people no, gave. No. Now I ain't doing that. You, if you're paying attention, you're keeping up with the numbers. Now okay, I'm about to count it and tell y'all right now. So y'all get ready. Do not, do not put them out in yet. Do not. not yet, the blessed one. Hold on. Hi, the blessed one. Don't worry, the blessed one. Do not put them out in yet. Not yet. Yeah, we All you gonna do is confuse us, and people gonna say, "Well, I sent my hand in first. It does not count until she put my name up there and says right. that, and then we start counting from there. I'm letting you know." You be mad if you want to. That's why people be mad at me when I go to my show. Because they want to take a picture. I'll take no pictures. You can't get close to me while there's COVID. As a matter of fact, when I'm thinking about it, uh, oh, that's, that's clueless. My tie strip, and he'll be right back, but he's telling them, money. get ready to Ooh, you guys. I ain't going nowhere, man. My mama did what? Uh, your Wi Fi, you didn't go anywhere, but your Wi Fi sure did. Yeah. <laughs> I got this money. I'm oh! Yeah. Those moi. They're a match. Oh, Am my God, are you frozen? I'm not. You are. Oh, no. I'm here. Look. I'm going In to come back. African shirt. Oh, no. Don't come back. Um, so listen, we're at the Custom John Sweep says, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We're currently counting the money. Do not start guessing yet. Right now no, we're counting all the money that's in the jar. And, Chris, uh, and you're, just you're freezing too. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's an LA thing. I'm not for sure. I think StreamYard is saying, y'all need to grow sick. Y'all just going to be out of here by the time. Because <laughs> we're all streaming. Hey, Moses, Fleathers, please tell Charles Douglas I said hello, <laughs> okay? 
So listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are, uh-oh, can you still hear me okay? Yeah, you're freezing yes. now for some reason. I'm not I am. sure. It don't All matter right. at all. Uh, you are free. The guy with the money ain't broke. <laughs> yeah, both of, you, both of you are free. Both of you are having some technical issues. What is going on? Cause they know we got this money. You money, make that money, money out, people money. Try to disappear. Right. Right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I know. All right, hang in. I still there, right? You yeah, going? you're freezing. You're really bad. Your picture. Now nah, you really still bad. here, right? You can hear me. You freezing too? No, Ty, Ty is fine. Hey, Ty. Hi, I'm so sorry, man. Hey. <laughs> yeah, those two were freezing. Right. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm okay now, right? No, you're not. You're frozen. I am. Oh. Yes, you are. Oh. And you're hey. isolated. I don't know what happened. Let's do a frozen photo shoot. Ah! <laughs> oh! Stay, bear mm. with us, everybody. I know Thank Michael just logged out this. and logged back in. Bear with us. Yes, he'll be right back. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, Ty, I'm so has sorry. To go and cut his mom's really? lawn yeah. and his side. I thought it was just, I thought it was on my end, but yeah. He, I thought it was on my, end. on my end. Right? I thought it was me because I didn't pay the Wi Fi, the internet bill. Say what you want to say. I'm still counting money. Yeah. <laughs> all of this, all of this, plus, wow. the family ain't putting a pot. Y'all frozen? Yeah, yeah no, you're we're you, good. <laughs> Misha you're said not. Texas still in LA's Wi Fi. <laughs> what she said, Misha said what? <laughs> Texas is still in LA's Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> we taking all y'all powers from the United you States. See what's we, we gotta, we oh gotta power God. up out here. Okay. Can you hear me, Chris? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, as long as you can hear me, what yes. I'm doing right now. Is okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to count up. So starting now, people go. can go ahead and guess. Go. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Y'all, you guys can hear me. I can barely hear them, but um, I got it, Michael. Don't touch anything. Ah, so go ahead and guess, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to go in. How much money is in the jar, as well as how many do people give to put on top of it? One that comes closest without going over, you will be the winner. Once again, the one that comes closest without going over, don't go over, you will be the winner and you will receive the entire amount in your cash app today, within today. an hour after the show, after he gets off his <laughs> interview, that he's going to be a little late for, okay? So, oh my goodness, I can use some money, Jesus, I need somebody to win for me, please, and then cash out, you know, get it. All right, wow. Uh, uh, oh, wow, some of you guys are a little high. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Serena Wilson. I haven't seen you in a while. Good morning. Sorry. And Joan Brown. Hi, Joan Brown. Producer extraordinaire. Michael, you good? Can you All see right. Me? Five, four, well, Ebony Cat. three, two, two, one. Stop. Okay, oh. stop. I'm almost through with the count. Almost through. Almost through. <laughs> you know, I have to the little cuss words. The oh, little yes. cuss words are only worth a dollar. So I got a lot right. of dollars. Yes, yes. Well, we have a whole list guys. of guests. So. Yes, thank you guys for being here for Ratings thank Week. You. This has been an amazing week from 3TOB <laughs> to Andrew's <laughs> the wonderful cooking tickets. Good job, Andrew. I got one to the screen and grab that. That was good. And you know, yeah. I've been trying to order Starbucks somewhere. I guess you can't order it now on uh, DoorDash or... Oh, wow, Rumble. really? You can still order yes. it out here. But how do you do it? Do you have to do it through um, Uber Eats? Yeah. See, and I, I do... You know, okay. Postmates. Uber Postmates. Yeah, they're not on Postmates anymore. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're on. not? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yeah. Hey, Neela Adams. Oh, 
Heidi Adams, how you doing? Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, uh, I know okay. I understand. A lot of people look at work and they can't talk back. I get you. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm back. Can y'all see me? Can you hear me? We can, we hear, can you, hear you, but you and, you and Chris are both hats. frozen. But that, oh, I'm still okay. frozen? Yes. Frozen. Frozen. Oh. What happened? Frozen. Yeah, you're frozen. Frozen. We're almost done, guys. Please stay with us. Hi, we're coming. I promise. Oh my gosh. I know. I we feel so <laughs> bad. Can you still, can you see oh, me? Oh yeah. No, you are cutting in and out. Sorry, everybody. Man, of course, the has the show, so many to be freezing. Come on. Difficulties. Yeah, you. <laughs> You're gonna have to come back out and come back in and say. And Michael already did, so bear yeah, with us, everybody. I'm not. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a terrible joke. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> this is crazy. I know, and I don't know why all of a sudden at nine o'clock it started. So I'm gonna delete some of the stuff. That's maybe the um, load is a little heavy. Yeah, and Michael's no longer in the studio, so he's gone oh, out. Oh gosh. All right, so when Michael comes back, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to know exactly how much is there. Oh, uh, Ebony, would you mind yeah. taking pictures of it just to make sure we don't lose it? Oh, I already did. Oh, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I took okay, video. Cool. Yeah, no worries. Oh, D bless one. Thank you for giving Angela a hug for me. That's so special. And seriously, tell your parents I said hi, too. Um, uh, once again, it's the hat. <laughs> it's the hat. <laughs> can y'all see me now? No, you're still frozen this and pixelated. It's fine, but we hat. can hear no. you. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't want to ask Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, please. no, we can hear you. You're good. You're good. I know you, you can hear me, but I, need, I needed y'all to see the number. You can't see the number? Oh, no. But... no. All right. Then, okay, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm writing out the total. I have the total written out. Um, okay. 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 All right, here we go. Hi, Debbie Howard. Good morning. Have you cut everybody off so now I can tell the total? Everybody's been cut off. Yes, we're ready. The total is five, four, eight. Oh, five, five four, four, eight. eight. There were 395 in donations, 153 in the actual job. Five, four, four eight. eight. Ooh. Five, four, eight. Oh, I the think total. I seen the first one that was up at the top. Oh, who is it? Five. Hey, it's five, four, eight. I see a five, four, Are eight. You, I, I see an exact five, four, eight. The well. exact five, four, eight? I oh, see our no, that. That's, that's one with four, four that? That's four, four, eight. Oh, that's four, four, eight. Okay. You saw a five, four, eight? You said five, 48, correct? Yeah, yes. five, 48. I five, saw a five, four. 45. I see five, 45. No, that was at the top. It's no longer there. Remember, I see a the, 547, the... but it's at 9.09 a.m. It Was it after the stop? It, oh, I don't know. I haven't gone down enough to see the stop. I see 545 is the closest I see. Yeah, it's what before the see? stop. It's definitely before the stop. That's at the top. No, that's 909. not. Okay. Remember, we have more at the top, you guys, that your systems You're were right. not working. So the first right. person that I had at 545 was, and I have the video right here that I scrolled down. Yes. Whoa. Hold on. It's Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly Mixon Dixon is the first 545. At what time? Kimberly Mixon Dixon, it was at 1109. 1109. Yes, oh, shoot. Okay. Because cause on your time, Angela means it's 1110. So get me back up to 1109. You can't see it anymore because it's gone. Yeah, because it's already gone. The well, how so I have it on a video. It's. And what's her name? It's Kimberly. Um, Kimberly Mixon Dixon. Kimberly Dixon Dixon. Kimberly Dixon Dixon. Uh, uh, you have that 11 on that? Correct. Okay, you have that on video? Yes, it's on video. You don't want no shit out of you. Correct. <laughs> right. Out of nowhere. It was at 11.49. She was the first one at 5.45. Congratulations. And how many people up? What was the money? 5.45. Will you hold it up, though? Can you? Oh, you don't have that on thing. 
Hold that up. Kimberly, Mixon, Dixon, you got 548 smackaroos coming to you. No, you can't, you can't see it. You can't see it. We are going to post proof of that though Monday show, yes? No, I'm going to post it here. I'm going to load it in a minute. Okay. Then, ladies and gentlemen, can we just go ahead and give her up her love right now? Kimberly, Mixon, Dixon. Look at that. Look at that check. Now, don't forget to pay the tax, all right? All of them. And oh, that's a good green cash. Okay, all right, let's go. I, I don't even know if Ty gonna even be able to be funny after all this shit we to put her through. <laughs> well, she's got plenty of happiness. <laughs> First of all, thank you, Kimberly Nixon Dixon. Uh, you need to call in as soon as she gets through with her comedy. Come online live and tell people thank you. We're gonna do it like that. Meanwhile, let's get to this very patient, very funny sister who. I just love and support. Anytime I get an opportunity to bring her somewhere, I'm bringing her. She is funny. She brings the energy. She brings the light. She brings the power. From Baltimore, get your hands together. Kaya Clan with some Kaya love from Miss Ty David. <laughs> hey y'all, hey, listen, um, it's a good thing I got high self-esteem because I absolutely don't know how I'm supposed to be funny after <laughs> 17 hours. Um, <laughs> And I'm, I'm good with that. If don't nobody think I'm funny, that's cool. I'm just gonna say my thoughts and what's on my heart. And that's if right. You with it, then you with it. And if you not, I don't care. I'm at home, and y'all don't know where I'm at. So, <laughs> um, shout out to the person that won the, the money. I just feel like um, if the spirit moves you, let him use you. My cash app is Ty Davis. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give me a little something. Um, but uh, oh, I've been really having a hard time during this quarantine, right? So I, I moved back home. I moved back home with my mama. <laughs> and it's hard doing comedy on the computer phone. And you got to keep looking over your shoulder because it don't matter. If you're <laughs> you, you not grown in your mama house. It don't matter. How, like, it don't matter how old you are. And I'm not grown no more. And I don't like not being grown. Then on top of that, my youngest child, she here, she going to virtual school. I am not lying about this. Y'all not going to believe this. Monday, my baby girl comes out the room and she says, hey, mom, can you sign my permission slip? I said, sign your permission slip for what? She said, for a field trip. I said, do the schoolhouse know that it's a pandemic and there ain't no field trips? She said, oh, no, it's a virtual field trip. <laughs> I say, how you how do you do a virtual field trip and why did they need a permission slip? You need permission to walk around the house with your laptop? I'm trying to <laughs> what's going on. Like it don't make sense to me. And I'm just like, right. you know what? Fine. She was like, so can I go to the field trip? Yeah, if you want to take your laptop into the kitchen, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. <laughs> it was bad weather here on the east coast that was monday the field trip was tuesday i literally watched my child walk from her bedroom into the kitchen on this virtual <laughs> field trip she oh, the cabinets. i said don't be showing them um the spices that we got in here they don't even know what we got in here <laughs> so that was on tuesday with the virtual field trip <laughs> yesterday, well wednesday i get a call at about six something in the morning, it's the robo call. The robo call say, due to inclement weather, all school systems will be closed. <laughs> <laughs> Why they got snow days on computer school? Right. <laughs> in the world. But I don't understand what's happening. And I can't be a good parent. I can't be effective to my kids. She keep coming and asking me for help on her homework. And I at this point, I just be honest with her. She asked me for, for help on her on her trigonometry homework. I said, check this out, little girl. Um, I took trigonometry in the 90s and I have not used it one single time since I've been a grown up. You don't need that. So if you can just get a D in the class, we good with that. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. You ain't even got the paper. You just do what you gotta do to, to, to get a 60. If you can get a 60, 
In a pandemic, I don't even know what these grown ups gonna be like. These grown ups that's growing up, for yeah, this, man, right. Oh, somebody shoot me in the face now. I don't, want yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> like, I oh, somebody shoot me in the face now. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I don't I don't know. Like I used to want a long life and I wanted to live till I was 90, 100. The Lord can go ahead and come on and get me right now. I've just been waiting on the Lord. <laughs> Wait. to get me next like, I don't even know what we waiting on. Um I don't need nothing else but him. Just somebody come pick me up. Um I'm tired. Okay. I'm tired now. The only joy that I found in the pandemic was through TikTok. TikTok is the only social media that cares about you. If you on TikTok and you've been on it too long, a screen will pop up that says, hey, you've been watching videos for a while. Stop and get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. Get you some sleep. I said, I have never had a computer care about me so much. The other platforms <laughs> don't treat you like this. The other thing I like about the TikTok is I'm an ally for the LGBTQIA plus all that other stuff. I, I, support them on TikTok. I don't support them on TikTok. I'm not an ally on TikTok. I am a full blown lesbian on TikTok. Them lesbians are <laughs> fine. They fine. They talk to you nice. They got great choreography in their videos. <laughs> And I feel like the minute that I think about sending one of them a message, that's when that man pop up on the screen and tell me that I need to go lay down. So <laughs> I feel like I did my best. Like if you didn't laugh, I don't know what to tell y'all people at the I've been here. If they didn't laugh, so if you ain't like wrong it, with them. That was oh. fantastic. Wow. And for you to be funny yes. after all that stuff you had to wait through. Yes. Genius. Genius. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you should have done it. I love you, Ty Davis. You know I'm a big fan of you. You know? And this is why I'm a big fan of you. Thank you. That's why I love you. You went through all that and waited and waited and waited and still came with the right energy, the right funny. And I love your voice. You should be doing voiceover or something. Cause you got this real I'm, I'm, I'm working beat. on getting in the voiceover. I be on Clubhouse. They call me Clubhouse over on there. So they love my voice and everything. Oh, and where good. else I was going to go? I can't go outside. So I might as well sit here through the 32. We ain't go, I mean, unless of course a field trip, field trip comes up. <laughs> we love you. I see how to find you, comedian Ty Davis at comedian Ty Davis. www.comedianTyDavis.com. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Can she get a woo 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 from us? Woo 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 woo. Next is one for you. How you gonna oh, that? Oh, I'm going to? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Christopher, he's stealing. He's stealing y'all. Thank you for sorry, Kyle. Like you for the show and bringing such light and joy. God bless Thank you. I'm so confused. That wasn't your damn kid. Okay. And finally, finally, as, as though this show is ever going to get over this marathon yes. show. Thank right. you to the 75 people who made it to the very end. <laughs> to the winner. What's the winner's name? So we have a correction with the winner. Uh-oh. Who's look the winner? The, look at your look at your um your group text. But here's the picture. <laughs> it's T Mac. Who T -Mac. the hell is T Mac? T Mac. Oh T -Mac, my T Mac. Five forty seven. It was right above. Wait a second. Dixon. Dixon. We were oh, going to correct it. It was Mixon in the Dixon it was in the comment comments. Mixon Dixon was already spending that money. A bad I know. <laughs> Well, we I so the word is T Mac is T -Mac at, at eleven oh nine at five forty seven T Mac. And and where is Mixon Nixon? I don't see her on there. Oh, she where was, was under, she? Was in the under the bottom, but I posted that picture. Hold on. But can you can you do me a favor and post the picture Absolutely. showing both of them? Oh. So you'll see that one is beneath because the time looks the same. They both it say is, oh. it is the same, but T Mac is closer. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, how much was hers? Hers was five forty-five. Oh shit! He five forty-seven. Damn it! The hell! 
I, God damn it, Ebony. What? Okay. It I goes reviewed to, it. Why, you, why was I filmed? You Sorry. had to review it, people. You know the review was still out. What can we say? All right. Yes. So for the four, $548, first of all, $395 came from Rojas with the 200 me with 50 wow. uh Chris with 20 Bonnie Chambers with 20 Dr. Sabrina with 50 15 from Mickey Dr. Davis Sabrina. 20 from Michelle Tanksley um uh, Misha L me. with 10 Ebony threw in 25 and Neela Adams threw in another 10 so I want to thank all of y'all for putting in that 395 That's and right. then out of the Calia clan pocket uh, came another 153 from us from me cussing, which I owe that to Jesus anyway. So instead, we're gonna tie it to you, uh, T Mac. But T Mac, you got 24 hours to get this money. I'm already looking at a new hat. Okay, 548 to the winner. Give it up, y'all. T Mac, where your face at? There you go. I was reading the comments. <laughs> Excellent, everybody. Oh okay, my now God, it's way over. I may have lost my other job. I'm honest. supposed to be on air with Black uh, News Channel uh, right at 9 o'clock. I'm supposed to be on there doing comedy. But my allegiance is always to the Michael Kyle Morning Show. Wow, so I'm staying right here till we get it right. Yay, T Mac. Congratulations coming up to everybody. T Mac says thanks. I was hoping that the whole machine was shut down, like everything kept shutting off, and I could have spent this money and said, oh, we had a technical <laughs> difficulty. Uh, he said, thanks for the correction. Thanks, everyone, in the chat. I'll be sending my information in right now. He didn't say now. He said, right now. Right now. Uh, T Mac, G -G. what God has for you. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. This was an awesome show. It went two and a half hours. I apologize for that. But what a powerful jump show. The it Dick Gregory. Stuff. Right. Was amazing, right. amazing. Uh, three T O B. Amazing. The both yes. of the comics. Uh, just everything. The <laughs> melanin sister. Uh, the white yes. boy came on and cooked. Right. Andrew, I you thought the white boy it, would be a problem. He was not. He was fabulous. <laughs> okay. Was great. Yeah. DJ Dave on the one and twos. You always yes. a fabulous sir. And so oh, is man. I, I'm sure I forgot somebody. But well, can I say you did forget somebody? That hat with the feather you got on today is the star of the show, sir. It's so That's the star. It made the television. Wow. It made the thing cut off. So another shout out to uh, Fruition with the fly ass hats. They make That's it go right. down for your sporty crown. Uh, great show, everybody. Thank you. It's yes. Friday. We went a little long, uh, but that's all we doing. We outie like Kurt Gowdy. God bless all y'all. Come back next Monday. We got all kind of stuff. Next Monday, liquor store hat Monday. I'm going to find another great monologue. I want to thank the actor who came on today, Moses. Yes, I'll have another great you, monologue. And we going to have David on the ones and the twos if he come back. Because he mad as hell right now. As late as we going, he done lost his day job. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, that nigga day. That come on, Jay. Take him out right. Oh, hey what a Oh, there it is. Hey y'all. Ooh, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> hey, really quick. Sorry. Um, hey, she uh, was Rose, good at the end. Rose oh, go ahead. said Michael is the um oh what happened? Oh. I don't Look know. At the comment. Roger is sending two hundred dollars for Kimberly Mixon Dixon for the mix up. So. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Well, oh, yes. thank you so much. Dude, we and when Michael so said, much. Chris, what you looking at, that's what I read because somebody had oh, said something that my she really God. needed that money. And so Kimberly I was like, oh my God. Dixon, but, and I am so glad that you did that instead of cool. me, sir. Because I was about yeah. to add 50 and give it to her myself. Oh, you did the 200, which is much better than I would have did, and took a little pressure off a player. Whoa, come on, y'all. Let's give it up for Will Jess, who follows yes, the podcast in a magical possible way. He puts his money man. where his mouth is. And Brother, got, thank we you. We got one more $20 for um, Kimberly Mixon Dixon from Jalen Al Aliou from his mom. Is it the mom? Or? He better go ask his mother if he can <laughs> send that money. Yeah. We don't know. He's got to ask his I'm mom. Not sure. All of that is amazing. God bless y'all. Thank you, Rojas. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, everybody, for making this show super wonderful. Right. This money is going out right now. I'm going into the box and counting first. I ain't sending out nothing. 
y'all don't send to me. So if it ain't in there, it ain't coming. So make sure y'all put that money in there. And me and Kelly, we're going to go to the strip bar. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Take us out with some music. This show is way too doggone long. Oh, today. Lord. We'll be back later, y'all. And we're back. Well. The money goes, yes. the show will stay at an hour and a half when we come back Monday, y'all. 7 o'clock until 8 30 Pacific time, right here. Liquor store hat. Bring your ugliest hat and let's see what we're talking about. Great show, Ebony. Awesome show, Christopher. Wonderful music, David. Thank you, Rosette, and all of you guys. Gay. We have got our money. We got our yeah, money. We're going to split this money up now they off the air. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that big old hand. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Beg so much, his hands look like what? Hey, y'all, we did it. Two hours, 38 minutes. And some change. One of the longest, but one of the best shows we've ever had here on the Michael Corey Morning Show. I hate you. Woo! I hate you for counting. Oh, and, 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 and counting. And counting. I think I'm just going to do an hour set. How about that? Actually, I'm not, Chris, I'm not going to go see my mom. I'm going to see her later this, this weekend. But I will be, if you guys are in town, I'll be at Delicious Vinyl Pizza Place. Free pizzas on me. 5419 Adams. And Burnside. That's right. Delicious vinyl pizza. At what time? Come on, what time are you going to be there? What time? There. Uh, I'm about to call Mike right now. And uh, Mike Ross and Rick Ross. And I'm going to make sure they're there at the right time. So I ain't got to Wait, wait, for wait. I got to get those names you just dropped. I got to pick them up off the floor. Rick oh. Ross, who yeah. is the <laughs> CEO <laughs> of Delicious Vinyl. And his brother right. Mike. His parents own Ross for less. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know I that. Know, Chris. So we, what time are you, you know gonna what? be? We, we, we're gonna do a drop a name segment. We gonna we gonna no, 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 drop no, no, some no. names, nigga. I got boulders. <laughs> no, no, I no, have no. stacks. What time are you gonna be a delicious pizza? I'm hopping hey, over there. Look, Rick just text me. Um, I, I, my screen will go blank. Let me yes. go real quick. And tell him to bring some and gift is... cards for Ross just for less. I can. Be... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, luck, everybody. Yeah. Have a great weekend. But seriously, so, tell me what time you're going. 10:30 and 11. He just texted me. It's all great. Come on, man. Bring an appetite. All the pizza, all the zaw you can eat. So I'll be there. Y'all come on down. Have a beer with me. Some pale ale. 54:19 Adams. Around 10:30, 11 ish. Come on down. We are done. Peace. See y'all Monday. <laughs>